Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the GFG cast. Sorry we're late. I was eating Nando's. Um, I am Scotty of uh, GFG, joined by my fellow GFG and Tit Warbler, Mark, otherwise known as Ob Not. How are you, Mark? It's me. I'm good. Fortunately, I didn't get Nando's, so... I hate to see it. Not as good as you, by the sounds <laughs> of it. I'm very full, so if I fall asleep midway through this one, then we uh, oh, I got you. We know what you. we know what's up. <laughs> Camera controls out the window. Um, yeah, so we are a little late, but it's okay. I prepared some draft stuff, but I don't think we have time. Both teams are already in, so I sh I think they're already flipping the coin, so we won't have long to wait. Um, we'll do it game two. It's all good. Yeah, exactly. We have got a bit of time, so it's no worries. Um, spherical versus sit out then. How are we feeling about this one? Um, We've cast spherical before in this tournament, so they spherical beat... are quite good if I remember. Mm. Yes, they they have a a two two record currently. Obviously, their group has five teams, so it's a little different. Um, to... Is team sit out the ones that we lost to the other day? No, because okay. they're not in our group. <laughs> Oh. This is group one. We're group one gamers right now. Group one gamers. Yeah. Uh right. Do we streams do we uh do we do a stream for sit out? Mm, no, we did spherical granny's cookies and then we did uh who was it last time? It was Halo 3 soundtrack and GCDD was the other uh, one. Ah, yes. That's that's the ones. Okay. <laughs> that's the ones. Oh, excuse me. Sorry for coughing down the mic there. My bad. That's the old Nando sauce hitting the back of my... Never mind. <laughs> um, right, we're in a draft, so let's... Uh... Yes, I am now a tit warbler, but we're still members of GFG. I mean, we're OGs. OG GFGs, so... Spirit of GFG on. lives on. Indeed. So I had a look at these two teams... Um, you know, most picked heroes. It's a little little tricky because I think Sit Out has literally been created for um, created for this tournament. But uh, uh, the Slardar ban is almost certainly uh, a result of some of their plays. I think they have um, a very good win rate on Slardar personally, and also Slardar has a good win rate in the tournament. So it nine, nine picks, eighty nine percent win rate, which is pretty crazy. Eighty nine percent win rate. Uh, yeah, um, that must be like one L. My cat is biting my foot as well, so this is uh, um, there's already a, a scuffed cast, but there we go. She's. I mean, did you bring her back Nando's? Uh, well, I don't think she can eat Nando's. Um, I guess if I got plain, maybe, but I don't. I don't want to admit, you know, here <laughs> that I would get plain. Luckily, I don't have to admit that because I don't get it. But you know what I mean. Like on a live stream, I'm not outing myself like that. <laughs> uh, sit, sit out as well. Um, play a lot. Played a bit of Necro. So I had this one written down as well, which is ideal. So the Necro Slada bands are definitely more targeted bands towards. Uh, They've done a bit of research. Heroes that they've played before. Um, and they also have a really good win rates in the in the tournament for the amount of picks they have. So like I said, Slardar nine picks, eighty nine percent win rate, Necro six picks and eighty three percent win rate, which is pretty crazy as you come as it goes. Uh Luna is um I believe now the most picked hero. Um fifteen picks, sixty percent win rate. Um Clockwork, There's a lot of Luna. Clockwork is the most uh most contested still and gets banned yet again. I think that's forty one times Clockwork has been picked or banned in a tournament, which is pretty <laughs> crazy. How, um, how many games? <laughs> uh, well, it, yeah, well, it must be... It'll be close to that. It must be 41 games, right? Because it's like 14 picks and 27 bands. So, yeah, 41 of the... 41 matches it has been... has been banned. Um, yeah, so Clockwork... Shadow Demon's got to be up there as well. Yeah, Shadow Demon... I don't know if I wrote... Oh, yes, yeah, Shadow Demon actually win rate isn't as good, but has 9 picks at 44%. Um, but has been banned 26 times, so mm. it's up there. Top three. It's it's literally Clockwork, Luna, Shadow Demon. So that last ban of the first phase and then the first two picks are the top three um, combined picks and bans. Um, so, yeah. So that's, that's that. Uh, from what I have here, um, 
just in case. Uh, Spherical haven't played it in this tournament yet, but Dawnbreaker could be a huge pick for them. I looked on their Dota buff, they have 100% Dawnbreaker win rate. When they've played Dawnbreaker, they've won every single game. For... So That's quite the stat. That is quite the stat. So watch out for their, their Dawnbreaker, <laughs> I guess, because like, that is crazy. Um... Hmm. So uh, yeah, I got I got all the stats today. I got it written, got some bits written down. Um, You've done your homework. I certainly have. You want to know the hero with the worst win rate? So the, um, the hero with the most picks, but uh, I'll give you a clue: it's zero percent win rate. Um, tiny. <laughs> no, no, it's gyrocopter. <laughs> oh, five picks, zero percent win rate. Crazy. I didn't even know Gyrocopter was played, so there we are. Uh, they banned Dawn themselves, so um, they obviously don't want to face the sit-out Dawnbreaker. Um, interesting. So yeah, mm -hmm. from from uh, what I could see anyway, looking at the two teams, they both quite like a lot of team fights, so this could be a brawly one. Um, I don't know how evenly matched the teams are, but I did see that recently, I think they must have scrimmed against each other in like a, an in-house, um, and Sitao did right. win the game, Oh, but I believe it was close. So there's some, um, so there's there's a, some history here. There is a little, little bit of history. They know a bit about each other anyway, so um, we will see. Speaking of team fight. Yes, the Spherical Witch Doctor. This is another hero where they have a hundred percent win rate. So Dawnbreaker, Witch Doctor are the two heroes that on their Dota bus. Um, Spherical as a team have a hundred percent win rate on the hero. This is this the throw, <laughs> or does this continue the streak? Yeah, who Mars? Uh, yeah, had this one written down for sit out as well. Um, seven picks, fifty-seven percent win rate. Um, yeah, again, one of the team fight heroes that they tend to favour. Um, yeah, there are other there are other ones that are kind of con like Luna was on their 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 list as well. They also like Mar um, so we have Mars. They like Phoenix. Um, there you go. <laughs> what a fortuitous time to say that. <laughs> so. Oh man, that was so smooth. <laughs> we gone, so gone from we uh, gone from we gone from scuffed cast to uh, <laughs> ideal cast. You really turned this ship around for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it's pretty pretty nice so far. Just adding on to the team fight capabilities. Yeah. The Logica TV just followed. Yeah. It's pretty tasty. So there's a nice combo as well, the Mars Phoenix. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Yeah, with the Lunar as well. Yeah. Good old team fight so far. Um, Very nice. See, so we've probably got what the two supports for Spherical, so they're gonna have to show two cores now which but they already know the off lane is mars phoenix so they can pick carry pretty clear and obviously know that the carry is luna so snapfire had this one written down for spherical as well but it doesn't have the greatest win rate in this tournament eight picks 12 percent um but definitely a pick that they favored quite a lot so they are big hmm. fans. Life stealer, I didn't have have down at all. So, but might be, you know, a bit of a bit of the rage as well. He just so walked. is it a carry snap? That's a good question. I Should guess a three. Probably a three. Which of these well, supports is a carry? Just followed. Um. Well. If we're playing turbo Because a mode, carry snap is terrifying. If we're playing turbo It requires mode, a lot. I also, I mean, well, it's just snap fire for the Phoenix, right? So it's like, I think mm. you don't even need to... Yeah, it could be... It could be a mid snap fire. Um, that's what... Larry Lamo is suggesting in the chat. I didn't realise that mid snap was a thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Lich... Mm. Which is nice. That is nice. Um, I mean, they've got the combos. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Do you think the life stealer pick is like? Can you walk out of the Marzolt mm -hmm. if you rage? Do you just rage and like walk out? Yeah, I think um, nice. spell immunity means you can just walk out. Yeah. So. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, that is, that is true. It's not a very obst hero. That's uh. Um, it would be more. I think obst tends to favor melee mids, as far as I understand from watching the games quite often. It tends to be something like that. Might be wrong with that though. Um, no axe ban. Yeah, so they think it's an off lane they're waiting on. Yeah, so they think it's mid. Yeah, mid snap. Um, I guess they could. Yeah, I don't know. How does three snapfire work? How does mid snapfire work? Both. Um, I mean, you go for the the big mondo triple hit thing. You get crits and deso, and you you do a lot of damage because mm. it, it steals your attack damage. But you are required to get a lot of levels and a lot of gold yeah. before that's online. And until that point, it's not great. The ult's good. Yeah, bells are good. I guess if if they're mid, then that that makes sense. Get a bit of a level level advantage could be nice. Yeah, and then rotate and cause some carnage. They don't want Husker. No. And Sanking Ban, yes, they think it's off lane for sure, and then obviously mid, you'd assume for, yeah. for sit out, it would look like anyway. I think they are lacking a bit of beef. Yeah, you're relying a, a lot on the life stealer at the moment, aren't you? Snapfire's not particularly squishy, but not yeah, not too tanky. They do need some some oomph in that department. Yeah, the axe and sanking bands are pretty nice, actually. The two heroes that yeah, just difficult to kill. Good initiation as well. I think Yeah. Like I guess you can like cookie someone in, right, with Snapfire. But I don't know if Snapfire wants to be the one like going in. Same with life At the moment they got no one to cookie in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so basically want that. L Lena last pick, so Lena and Luna. That's that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun for the cast. <laughs> Cheers, lads. Apologies uh, in advance for that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure uh, Five seconds remaining. what they go here now. Lena's nice as well, though, because it's uh, you got a nice mix of damage for... Some yeah. Stuff. I quite like that draft. Um, yeah, very it, easily it, executable, you, would, you, you could say. Yeah. That's your obst, Pango. Angolier. Surely, yeah. So. So it is an off-lane snap. Yes, and Pango is the yeah yeah obst is a is a Pango enjoyer. It is Slug Mortimer. That's ideal. Jiren Bong will be pleased. <laughs> right. So first draft is in the books. What do we think? Where do you think this one's going? Uh, I'm gonna lean towards Team Sit Out. I think they've got a nice, a nice, you know, set up there. Yeah, like you say. The team fight is clear. The game plan's clear. There's plenty of damage. Um, and yeah, I think quite an, enough kiting for the life stealer. I'm not sure the pango's got got to do a lot, which pango can do, but yeah, we shall see. Yeah. We shall see. Yeah. Um. Yeah, uh, I, I'll, I'll, dis I'll disagree because I, I, but only for the sake of not just splitting it, but also I back spherical, just the orbs. You know, sometimes you just got to back the orbs. So that's where I'm going. Um, so yeah, you can predict with channel points if you've uh, accrued enough. Feel free to to do, do the prediction. I don't actually know how to close it, so I'm hoping one of my mods will be able to do that. But let's uh, let's do this. I am on it. I'm on it. Lovely stuff. Give him a very lenient five-minute uh, 
five minute betting <laughs> yeah. time. So. Only only regrettable if it's like <laughs> like <laughs> five, five nil or something at that point. <laughs> okay, right. Let me change the old view. There we go. Let's have a look at what we got then. So why don't you break it down for us? I will run us through who we've got. So starting with Spherical on the. Uh, off lane Mortimer, we've got Phosphorus. We have Moist Goblin on Shadow Demon. Clava Kimball on the Witch Doctor. Obst on Pango. And Sleepy Moon on Lifestealer. And also making a defensive move into their jungle. We have Ea Nasir on the Luna. Yoso on Mars. Lulu on Phoenix. Uh, Se Admiral Seething, I think it's just Seething as Luna. And Wurzag as uh, Lich. I already nearly messed up my words, so apologies <laughs> for butchering your names, but uh, <laughs> my bad. Um, yeah, Super Duper Noodle pointed out we have Lulu as well as Luna and Lena. That is, yeah, <laughs> trouble <laughs> trouble brewing. So, um, But luckily, we got the whole start of this game, because neither side fancies having a go at yep. the other. Where's the bloody... Just chilling. That's the one. They are just chilling. Happy to it's sit. Hesitantly wandering mid. Now they're going to have a look at the other rune. Um, but I think both teams will settle for the two. There we are. <laughs> and I do get a little Shadow Demon take. Oh yeah, why is the weather on actually? Okay. Weather? Yeah, I've got... My... Well, you've got you've got thunder and lightning. Oh, yeah. So hopefully that doesn't fuck up the game. Apologies in advance. Um, I normally have it turned off, but I'm not really sure how that's happened. I don't know if I can turn it off mid-game. If you know in the chat, please let me know, and I will turn it off. <laughs> My bad. It's because I changed all this 2016 uh, compendium <laughs> shit, basically. So, let's, uh, let's see. As I get some early damage onto the Snapfire top lane. Um, and now Shadow Demon is here to support and... Uh, but uh, this Lich Luna lane will be pretty nasty, although good damage back onto the Luna from the Lich Illusions from the and bot lane as well. Lulu putting uh, pressure on the Witch Doctor. Uh, so yeah, a bit of, a bit of goosing coming out early doors. And yeah, no, going back onto the uh, Shadow Demon now. A couple of clips. Oh, mm. and a blood grenade gets low. But uh, yeah, the disruption's nice, although Lich Ooh. might still be able to get it. One right click. Oh, not enough. One more. One more. Oh, it does he get it. Gets and that's there. first blood in the end. Where's that? Gets it on the Lich. Chases Played. down the Shadow Demon. That's unfortunate. As we uh, have a pause. <laughs> it's a very quick rage quit. Pause, GG. <laughs> Uh, predictions okay. are still open, so if you want to change your mind based on the first blood. Yeah. Yeah, they've still got a bit of time to go. Uh, this might be the first game we've cast where people have actually bet on both sides. <laughs> yeah, it's fairly even, isn't it? So, <laughs> someone, to... someone will be winning beans today. Great news. <laughs> um, Get your beans. So... Let's just have a look. Yeah, this is standard, standard activity here. Iron branches galore. You know, tangos. You f all your all your That's laning favourites. Your witch doctor. You think grenade. there's um, you think there's a favoured hero in the mid lane? Luna versus Pangu. Lena versus Pangu. It's already begun. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't. I don't think so. I think. I think even though this is a sort of melee into ranged matchup, I still feel like. Um, I don't think you're too worried if you're Pango because just the amount of damage you can you can output anyway, and you got some escapes yeah. and stuff anyway, right? So it's not. It's got the point into into shield crash already, so yeah. gives him a bit of defense. And this is Obst as well. Like he's a yeah. He's a bit of a gamer. He is a bit of a gamer. Right, Luna getting aggressive here in the top lane. Yeah, getting. Might actually be in trouble. Yep. <laughs> wow. Way <laughs> far up. That is some damage. I caramba. Yeah. That was huge damage. Onto the a little there. shredder. Gets... Be shredded. Yeah, it does get shredded. Uh, and not much required to uh, do that. 
Interesting the Luna walked that far up as well, just saying. Not not ideal. Not ideal. Not what you'd want. And especially with the you know, Shadow Demon returning to lane and everything, it became a would get out of there. So so. Mid laners picking up a bottle already. Yeah, I mean this is what I was I was just we were just saying like <laughs> they've both like taken the same amount of damage, they both cast their spells. Like it just <laughs> this is just like uh just just another stalemate really. It might be a chance to get something, especially think, with some rotations uh, and Obst has a an early extra level, so might be possible. The thing with both of these heroes, if something happens, it's gonna happen quickly. Yeah. Uh, agreed. Agreed. I say put some pressure top lane onto the, the Lena sorry, the Luna <laughs> once again. <laughs> It's all happening in this top line. So. That low on mana. So if they got, without the spells, they haven't got the damage, I don't think. So, yeah. Slap team. Right. Oh, they're going, they're going in. Onto the Lunar again. She tries to TP out and dies Ooh. a second time. Val will not have the TP back to the lane. Huge kills and plays yeah, in the top lane for Spherical. Putting pressure onto the Lunar. That's big, actually. That's, that's a long time out of the lane. She's going to have to stroll back. Well, she does have boots, I suppose. Right. Yeah, I think it's just smoked up as well. To get a bit of extra move speed. Yeah. That's a really tough walk. <laughs> back. Great times for Lich, though. Get those last <laughs> hits, man. Yes! Oh, that's oh. solo XP. Oh. Oh, forgot to put it on. Hey! Oh, now Luna's here for the last one. Nice. And the range creep. Not so bad. Yeah, both level 5 mid lane again. Bottom lane, not too much going on. I, I think they probably... Again, this is another yes. lane where spells have been cast, and yet... Here we stand, without I think it's pretty happening. chill. I mean, um, Spherical will be waiting for the level 3 on the Witch Doctor. Yeah, and they're going into the Lunar again. The disruption, and now the Ice Shield comes out, so... Point taken in that to help defend... Ice Shield, huge. Yeah. <laughs> Such a good spell. Crazy spell. Yep, five stacks on her here with the... Poison. Uh, just the four. Yeah, I guess the uh, yeah, saving grace really is that the wave is pushing up quite a lot for the Luna. Obviously, it doesn't mean you have to last hit under tower, but it's better than having to wander out and get getting caught. Um, as mm. Obst hits six in the mid lane ahead of the Lena, so um, it, I mean it's pretty close to CS in that mid lane. All right, they're going again onto this Luna, the sh but the damage from the Snapfire is huge and <laughs> now puts the ice armor on. <laughs> Lich in their own world. Yeah, I don't know. I wondered if it was a lack of mana, which is why I decided to have a look, but... Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Like, it just looks like they were waiting, I close. think, potentially for, like, some of the extra damages. Uh, Lifestealer uses... Uh, yeah. Fair. So now the bomb goes out, and the... Uh, now it's a little... Oh, and the blood grenade from <laughs> Witch Doctor. A bit of maledict <laughs> action going on. The bomb goes... Didn't bounce? So, no. Not... It's gone for the second point in the in the bongos as well, rather than maledict. Double Bongo's... Um, he has got the Bongo's talent. Bongo's uh, facet. And now they go again, this time onto the Lich, who has to then uh, Ice Armor himself. Will go very low, and does get caught by the Shadow Demon. Not enough. But it won't be enough, and also no more mana to continue putting any more pressure on, so... Both low now, though. Yeah, it's a real tough lane up here. Oh, and... But... Lena's come to get a kill. In from behind. Uh, will they get a kill? Will Luna still die? Oh, that's a lovely that's little down. little gaze. Yes, very nice from the Lich to basically save Luna. Um, Luna using the ult a bit earlier than I anticipated. Thought would go for the old wave first and then clicks and, and get the... It <laughs> nearly cost the Luna their life. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was closer than it... <laughs> Closer than it should have been, but it's, it's good. Um, 
it all worked it out. Was, the end. kill did go to the Lunar, so maybe that was the play. Rather than the old control alt delete. Perhaps uh, yeah, maybe. just trying to get Luna a catch up kill. Yeah. Very much needed at this point. Uh, yeah, bot lane, these two supports just casting spells and neither have taken any damage. Um, as they go into in trouble again. again, but the frost armor is nice. Um, yeah, forty five percent damage reduction at level one. That's so much. That's so much. You've been burned. And obviously the snap fire as well is really nice for targeting the egg later too, so yeah. Just nullify a bit of the team fight from sit out. Um, okay, getting some warding up. Um, yeah, Luna, Luna was incredible. What happened there? I think was farming <laughs> the uh, the camp and has had to run back to base because uh, almost <laughs> perishing to the to the neutrals in the jungle. Um, and going back to lane now would be a bit of a death sentence. Um, bit of damage onto Witch Doctor Bomb, but it will get hit by the Fire Spirit, but nothing doing. Mm. They just want to try and take this uh, stacked pool camp here, so do get that to the side of sit out. Bottom lane, they are. I think they're looking, but Sleeping Moon gets pushed all the way back, and now Witch Doctor yeah, has to be a bit Witch careful. It's quite low. low. Uh, nearly six on the Mars will be really nice as well, and the. I'd tell you what, the Phoenix isn't that far away. Um, so it could already... Could be the go time for sit out in the bot lane to use the Mars ult to put some pressure. Although Lifestealer again probably just rages out of it, right? As they already yeah. take top tier one. On it's been a Spherical. dominant win <laughs> from Spherical in the top lane. Luna definitely got some catching up to do. Yeah, a little bit behind. Um, Got some stat camps. Yeah, although I'm not sure if she, I'm not sure if she can farm them are, yet. They are about to find her again. Oh, and this never is never mind trouble. the never mind the camp. This is a this is another kill. Lich just not in range. Um, has to walk away. Yeah. TP's in, but too late. Not a lot that can be done there. Three deaths on your carry at ten minutes. Not an what? ideal start. Not ideal. Far from it. I think she's even accidentally stacking the counts. Yeah, uh, strategy He's gonna be in be trouble careful. now. Um, <laughs> although, Pango's here, Obst rolls in from the back on the back lines, does some big damage to Wurzag, and now Phoenix will go down before they get the Shadow Demon, and now Lich is in big trouble. Both supports will go down in the end. Obst nice rotation with the Pango ult. Um, a Moist Goblin just kiting, kiting, kiting all the way around, and eventually... Both go down. Spherical opening up an early lead. A little 3k advantage. Yeah. Very it's nice. A great start. Ah, obviously helped out by that uh, tier 1 as well. Uh, taking that tier 1 is really nice. And also just allows them to put pressure in their jungle now. So Luna is in a bit of a pickle with where to farm. Yeah. Because She's being where is squeezed out already. Um, and they have vision of Lena needs oh, to be they, they don't actually have vision of her because she's blocked by these little trees. But they know they're in that area. Yeah, they'll find her soon. Witch Doctor having a wander around as well. Not quite level 6 yet, but does have the 3 points in bongos, so... Those casks be bouncing. 6 old bounces at level 3. I can remember. Uh, so yeah, Spherical should be able to use... and Just take the mid tower as well, so... Already starting to exert a bit of pressure around the map. As Lifestealer sets up onto onto the Mars, and now the ult comes out from the snap Back up as well. Big damage coming out, and Mars will drop the ult, but then will perish. Interesting. Lifestealer Life hops inside the Shadow Demon, who now actually turns with a bit of confidence onto the Phoenix, who's TP'd in. They all go down as well with a disruption and a bit of damage from Obst and his ult. So, two down on the side of sit out so that is spherical mm. locking up that off lane now and gonna take that tower as well and it and it's avril ceiling in the mid lane won't even get the tier one tower that he was pushing as obs tp's back and he's forced to retreat so 
No trade. 4k advantage now. Slowly and steadily building for Soraka at the moment. Yeah. It's um, exactly the start you'd want on Spherical. Now they can just keep running at them. Yeah. They, so... They've got full control of the game. Yeah. And Snapfire's next item is Gleipnir, so... Already... This out do, I think, have team fight advantage. Ooh. Smoke up. five. Smoke up from Lich, who was about to be caught by... <laughs> just to get out of there. Um... Yeah, they need to be careful on this uh, Lunar in the top lane because I think they know where he's farming. They find the Lich, uh, has to ice armor themselves. Which is going to lead her right to oh, Lunar. Lunar needs to be very careful not to walk Stay out there. there. That's good to stack the camp as well. That's efficiency. But it's yeah, she's got her Morbid Mask now, which is going to help no end in the farming. Yeah, I think Spherical now are probably trying to set up uh, for this top tier 2 even. Uh, just keep the pressure on the buildings as well, as Obst misses his spells onto the Lena. But uh, Lena will Lena is a very fast hero, so we'll get out of there. Um, again, we're trying to out. apply pressure mid lane. This out for the moment, doing well to avoid dying in this little yeah. game. I'm in off the map, been out of sight. Yeah, pushing, pushing in, opposite, pushing in the opposite other lanes. ends. Yeah, exactly. But they're going to group up as four in the bot lane and maybe try for this tower. Lena, Luna, sorry, needs to be really careful again. It's going to be spotted out by yeah. the Snapfire. And now the Snapfire ult is out. And with the damage from the Lifestealer burst, the... Oh, <laughs> it's, um, oh, it's such a sad all too game much. Luna now. Um, and it's pinged out that they have vision there. They, they don't, but I think they just know they... That Luna has to be there. They have control yeah, of it... their jungle, and she wasn't down bottom in, when the rest showed, so I think it was just a, a hunch that she was there. Well, they've just walked across the entire rest of the map, so process yeah. of elimination. They do have this one ward here scouting scouting out this camp. I don't know if Luna was in that, though. I'm sure she was farming this camp. Luna has an AD. Uh... And now needs to run, because Lifesteal is caught up to her. Stun doesn't hit because of the uh, the rage, and now the Marzo is down, but they will just roll and rage oh, out of there. stuck on the stairs. <laughs> it's stuck on the stairs. Witch Doctor roll is cancelled, so now this is a Witch Doctor in big, big trouble. We'll try to TP out, oh, but it does have the damage TP. and the stun in the end. And they do get the Shadow Demon on the other side as well, so that's a good fight for Sitter. That's perfect. That's perfect. Uh, I, I don't think they could have got any more. Yeah, Marzo will take used, two. But yeah, well worth it. And that Shadow Demon is worth quite a bit of money as well. Both of them were actually. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> nice kills yeah. as well. Yeah. Strength, strength of Lena coming through a bit there. It's just the, the only only carry really challenged the farm of Seracle. But doing what she needed to do, getting the damage out. Exactly, absolutely. I think, um, yeah, Marzolt uh, was really potentially, nice. Potentially, potentially, if she just holds her spells, I, I couldn't quite tell. If she holds her spells on the life stealer for like a second or two more, I think she lagooned him whilst he was still rage. Ah, I see. Um, extra. And then she, did, she stunned, she definitely stunned whilst he was rage. So I think maybe she just holds those, for, holds those for a second or two. Potentially, she could have got the life stealer there as well, which would have been. Huge, but yeah. Uh, the muzzle was nice as well, but um, obviously spherical have ways to get out. Um, but it still caused a bit of a disconnect uh, yeah. between the heroes. Um, so obviously, up, Ob's divide obviously, and conquer. Obs obviously got stuck on those stairs in the end. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Lifesteal just walked out. But yeah, split split the rest of the fight, and that's what allowed them to get the supports who were like slightly out of position. Which doctor yeah. was just on the on the wrong side of the fight, really. He needed to approach from behind the cause of this one, but, uh, okay. Looked like they were setting up onto Obs in the mid lane, but actually, sorry, I've missed the kill there, because Steven Moon has just gone <laughs> and absolutely obliterated the Luna, but will pay with their life. And yeah. Phosphorus is there, I, but it's it's, uh, it's I think that's worth it. It's gonna be another no, kill here. Yeah, Phosphorus is gonna go down as well. Pushed under tower. Okay. <laughs> um 
<laughs> okay, and Spherical, Spherical throw deep. a couple of heroes away to get a kill on a Luna, a Luna. that's already suffering. A Luna and that's, who's that's having another the worst game. One and a half K gold. Yeah? Interesting. Not that's what I expected value. to see, but that is value, yeah, absolutely. Well, they've, they've found the line now. They know how far is too far. Yeah. Oh, the Luna, I think, was the only person not to get a shared bounty of the uh, Snapfire. But I think would have got an assist, probably, for the kill on the on the Lifestealer if they did damage before they died. Yeah. No XP, but... I'm Luna's just... catching up. Yeah. and that, I mean, up. that's the beauty of the hero, right? Like the... Yeah, yeah. She'll, she will get there, given given enough time. She and will and get the Glaives, there. I mean, yeah, like... And when they get there, like, <laughs> the push is just yeah nutty. So that's that's why I kind of favoured this draft a bit. They go win one team fight and push, and they're they're quite good at winning team fights. So yeah, exactly. Um, so Ops will find the Phoenix here. Who will just uh... oh doesn't get down to the low ground when trying to move away, but the Gleipnir is out instead from Arrow Seeming, who now get good damage. Yeah, a lot of damage. Ops. Yeah. That's yeah, a hell got, of a got lot a of damage. Yeah, the Gleipnir already on the on the Lino. It's real nice, actually. How much damage is the Luna Blade? 700. But, oh, that could have been a kill. He only had 400 HP left. <laughs> Meanwhile, mid lane. See if we need to be a bit careful. They're all hanging around there. That uh, last uh, little little jaunt in the bot lane, I think, really um, has made the spherical <laughs> play marginally more carefully for a moment. Oh, now the nice blink out <laughs> by. <say> <laughs> Nice blink out by the Mars. Uh, yeah, so gets out Incredible. of there. Um, but that was more of a coordinated move. All five of them were there. But I think yeah. they've stopped going for like the the crazy like one or two man plays into. Uh... I think I'm having to salve up, getting very low. Uh, they will take this tier two, which I think they were eyeing up for a while. Um, and yeah. looks like the Luna will try and trade this bot tier one although they're a little afraid i think of uh, need to watch for cps yeah or even coming through the portal as well so um as a little bit of all chat goes on <laughs> which you love to see you love to see a bit of all chat lovely bit of banter they, as as i expected they do actually portal through but it doesn't mean they can just push this bot lane out um and eventually i guess their hope is to force um sit out to fight them because right now, Spherical still hold the lead. It's not as big as it was. No, um, not long, by a long way. That XP graph is really, really tanked as well. Really. And uh, Luna has has done her first achievement of getting in front of the Snapfire. One down. Yeah. Two to go. Yeah, and we'll be overtaking um, her fellow cores in the process. Um, and these Ancients will help. There's a lot of people in this area. Both yeah, teams and now they want to contest the stack, so Sleeping Moon will get the last hit on the on the final Ancient. <laughs> um, so steals that one away from, from Luna. I mean, mid-tier one went down in the meantime from Luna, but they are looking around this bottom lane, because I think Spherical will want to try and take this tier two. It looks like Sitout aren't just going to let them have it this time around. They're ready for it this time. And Ob's rolls goes rolling in. in. The, uh, you, you can't do that. The spear misses. He steals the <laughs> oh, wisdom he root. The wisdom and now the damage comes out onto the oh, onto the phoenix who has to it. has to swing away. Oh, and that's huge damage from the lich, followed up by the the oh, <laughs> oh. as well. And now the glaives are doing mondo damage, and that's four dead. And the uh, that's a one team fight. The life seeder escapes in the creep that runs so bloody fast. Look how fast it is. That's, um, this hell bears late. Uh, Luna needs to be careful. Luna needs to be careful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was it. That was a fantastic fight from Sisel. Yeah, 3k gold swing in that one. <laughs> That's correct. Um, Consider that the Phoenix got low quick and had to egg really quite far away. The Mars hit no one with the Mars ult. Yeah. All things considered. I, I mean, was ultimately, terrible. the majority of the damage was this Lich and Luna ult. Just Lich, and, Lich, Lich and, Luna. Luna and Luna on the background. Yeah, exactly. Just so, honking away. All the L's. Triple L. <laughs> um, 
Different team, different team. <laughs> That's who we played against the other day. <laughs> yeah, but we, uh, but we took the other day, wasn't it? When we, we were playing just some casual data. Oh ones. yeah, triple L's. <laughs> yeah, there's not been many wins on my profile recently. Don't, don't Google. <laughs> Well, there you go, that's the power of the team fight. I'm not sure if Circle underestimated it, thought they were further ahead. But they'll certainly have some respect for it now. So that fight did do a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot. Uh, I can't see any pipes coming out. Glimmer Cape for Shadow Demon is being purchased. They've already got Glimmer on the Doctor. But yeah, looks like we've got Radiance and then it's um, S and Y on Life Stealer. Obs is getting uh, the Ags, Ags and then Snapfire still building Gleipnir. So I think the early lane pressure of the of the um, Snapfire um, has sort of mm. run out. Although with the Diffusal Blade onto the the Luna now, gets caught out. Does pop the ult, but the the Witch Doctor ult and the Snapfire ult all come out. Three ults used. Four ults used if you include Lunas, and uh, the Luna will go down. And oh, Luna <laughs> swings a bit of gold into the into the bo the bucket, the pocket of Spherical. Oh yeah, the bucket. What am I even talking about? As uh, Spherical now will control this little triangle area, try and get the stack on this ancient camp if they can, um, and take the uh, the old outpost. Phoenix trying to defend mid, but needs to be careful. Ops with this diffusal blade is really ripping. Doesn't damage. have to dive. And dive was on cooldown. Yeah, big damage coming out. I mean, obviously egg. Oh no, not. I don't think they had enough mana for egg even either. So it's not that crazy you, that that's a forty second cooldown on Icarus dive. <laughs> not, that, not that you wanted to use egg there, but you might have been able to set up for a, the rest of your team to come in. But no, and that's the diffusal blade as well from from Ops doing a bit of work to. Mm. Um, very nice pickup, actually. Yeah, I think that that could be that could prove vital that that defeasible play. As they smoke up again in the mid lane, so less than one k advantage at the moment. Lich, they probably Jesus, careful. Yeah, popped they... one smoke, so yeah, he assumes the worst. And I won't find anything up here. A little bit <laughs> Luna tipping, flirting actually. with death again. <laughs> so. They will take these ancients instead. See about the D wards. Uh, they've got currently the dire side currently have two two wards in this in their triangle, in, uh, sentry over here as well. As the Luna comes back to farm the uh, <laughs> the ancients, which is kind of crazy that uh, spherical all around there but they they're more interested in this tower only witch doctors are really getting in engaged in this one yeah well needs to be the great. last time they fought up here they didn't go so well and for now them. it's the oh so witch doctor shard comes out to to be popped and now they are distracted the Icarus the up this time it um, was big damage from the life stealer but not enough to really warrant chasing after the phoenix after the icarus dive so there'll still be no pressure deaths. on this tier too but no deaths and they withdraw and they can come and push out their mid lane as well and their top lane that are all shoving in so sit yeah. out been doing their doing good work in the meantime and pushing out these other yeah. lanes and we are even in terms of net worth dead even it's flicking back and forth yeah it's like 10 gold in it right now <laughs> that's pretty crazy and pretty even in the old win percentage as well um, it's been mostly spherical the entire time, but it's stiffing back towards 50%. So, Yeah, Luna not quite finding space to just farm up massively, but... Yeah, Ch chat is back. pointing out that this... Uh, oh, sorry, BKB for, Lu for Lena is nice as well. Um, but this <laughs> Phoenix has gone Midas. <laughs> They're playing for the late game. Yeah. <laughs> um, as uh, Sleeping Moon is forced to rage to get out of there. Um, yeah, no, Manta and uh, Dragon Lance for, for Luna already going BKB next, so yeah, already yeah, making their way up. 
overtaken their own Mars as well in farm. Mars getting the Crimson yeah. Guard as well, which is nice. Um, getting there, getting there. We'll go BKB themselves, so... Yeah, both teams farming well. Getting their items, so it'll be interesting to see who takes takes it after that as uh, Spherical move up for the Roche, which um, I'm not sure if uh, Sid's out are aware of that, but they might suspect it as they're not on the map and their waves are once again pushing in, so hmm. um, post Aegis um, they probably will have to go push out this bottom mid lane um, and they actually will spot out Luna again with this ward that they've got in their jungle <laughs> so could be kind of um, through the, the enemy jungle um, Although this creep wave will spot them, so Luna will be given a full warning to uh, get out of there. But it looks like they're hanging around, but they don't have to support the rest of their team, so probably a good idea for them to get out of there as uh, Phoenix Lulu just farms, needs to leave. Farms, the, uh, farms the jungle. they got their sights set on this bot tier 2. I still see the Luna up there. Oh, they can start to... Yeah, just push another lanes. The, uh... the Lunar Illusions now can start yeah, pushing in these waves. Yeah. Which is very nice. And actually they're getting they're getting so much value from this. And now they're gonna put pressure on the on the opposite tier too. Yeah, I think I think both teams will probably trade here. Yeah. And I think if you're sit out, you're more than happy to trade here. Oh you say that, Sitar actually got a three K gold advantage now, which is pretty crazy. But since it went even it's it's dipped in their favour, so uh, and now Sleeping Moon with the Aegis is just it's running the high up ground. and hitting the high ground. So I don't know whether this... Yeah, Luna is staying. And now the, the Glyph comes out. Has to go back surely now. Um, so don't actually trade in the end. And a little bit of damage uh, done on the Tier 3. It might, it might yet. Oh yeah, Luna's still sticking around. L Illusions and the Creep Wave. Yeah, surely that's got to bring it down. It's not as quick as you'd expect, but it's, it's going down. Now yeah, obviously yeah, needs to be that's, a that's little gonna, bit careful. Just... Uh, a little deep there, uh, but now they'll move into mid, and this wave has been pushed it out really too. nicely. So, oh, the Gleipnir oh, doesn't hit. It hits the all the tower. creeps. It's all the creeps. It doesn't quite. And now Luna cuts this wave mid as well. So Spherical won't have the support of the creep wave, other than this one Luna's creep that's about to perish. Such a dangerous game. <laughs> yeah. Expect it. It's catching the life still. Rapidly. As they, uh, yeah, Phoenix makes her way back into the base with the Hickorus die. That's it down for another, how many? 35 seconds. As they make a play onto the Mars, who I think was blinking in to try and get ult off, but Literally actually just out. taking a lot of damage. Gets the ult out eventually, but will go down. Obst is on the back lines the as well. Here. They need Needs to get to the Pango. Pango just shreds through. The Phoenix without the Phoenix getting the ult off. We'll buy back on the Phoenix and this damage from the Witch Doctor ult now. Oh, Wurzag is so low but survives. Atron Seething goes down in the end. Mm. They cookie into the base on the Snapfire. They buy back on the Mars, um, they buy back on the Luna. They think this is the fight they have to take and now Sarah. Let me ask you one question. Where's out. the Luna this whole time? Just on the other side of the map. No TP, just farming. I feel like that's a hugely different fight if they hit 5v5. Yeah, the the one thing you can <laughs> you can say is that Spherical did not get buildings. Um, uh... <laughs> where was that? I missed that. That that was in the mid lane. Oh, um, an AD. the Luna and the Pango both ran towards the AD. Uh, the Luna managed to pick it up and then ulted, and there was nothing the Pango could do. Ah, so that's something. <laughs> yeah, no, and, and what I was going to say before, sorry, I was midway through that, well, <laughs> which is why I missed the kill, is that Sverigo didn't really do any more damage to this tier 3. They got three kills, and they got three buybacks, which is huge. Um, yep. If you're going to push again within the next, like, you know, within the buyback cooldown period, basically. I don't know. I'm not sure they are, it's the thing. Because they don't have age. well, they have ages for another minute. So if they want to wait for another Aegis, then they have to. But, I mean, you could also try and push now whilst the buybacks are on cooldown. And if you take the right fight, you probably win the game. Especially if you have buybacks up. Um, which they don't, because most of them don't have the gold. <laughs> so, probably not a fight I suppose even they do, I don't think they could use it aggressively, because they haven't got a way to get in there after the buyback. 
That's true. They could only use it defensively. Yeah, but I think that's more the point, right? Is that you just you you pr pressure to see because if you do mm. win that fight and kill three, then there's three diebacks. And obviously yes. Luna does damage, but it's Luna Lich who don't have who can buy back and they don't have it. Obviously you don't know that. They, yeah. Luna definitely doesn't have it. Smoked up and they're gonna find the Shadow Doom. I don't think it's the one they they want, but they'll they'll take it. Sure. It stops it stops this inevitable this inevitable push from coming a little bit. Yeah, the Aegis does down. expire. They are just forcing in this uh, this wave again. Need to be careful on the Snapfire, who cookies themselves away. Has no mana. Now knowing it's a 5v4, they can be maybe slightly aggressive, but without the buybacks, it's tricky. So, Basher on the Pango, just taking a look at the items before we fight again. Uh, Luna's got Chrysalis now as well, and the BKB, which was what that farming effort was in aid of. Um, mm. yeah, Luna Pipe took a big hit. On that buyback. Snapfire has hit. come back for the pipe now as well, so that will help with some of the magic damage that Sit Out have as well. Um, Another smoke up. And yeah, Chrysalis for Lena and Luna, so big damage incoming. Uh, smoke will probably find the Snapfire here, but the Moist Goblin has tanked two ganks in a row by TPing in this time. It's now in in the middle of the Marzal, oh, and this goodness. Luna oh, is huge with the egg as yeah. well. Obst There's the roll damage away. from Luna. Although Lifesteal comes in on the side, and Obst has already perished, so now hops inside the Witch Doctor, who wasn't moving because they're still channeling the ult, but now will uh, start to run away. And oh, Glypnir does get him. Not the trap of the Glypnir, but the stun. Oh, oh he's gone the other way. Fakes him out. And then they're going to get the rune. <laughs> <laughs> what an escape from. From the Witch Doctor. The game wants this to be an even game. Gaben giving and taking away from both teams. <laughs> it has another 3k gold swing, which is crazy. It's just back to even. Just back to even, but look who's at the top. Look who's made their way to the top of the net worth charts. Yeah. They've done it. That's why uh, being greedy and uh, <laughs> making your cause, the rest of your team buy back <laughs> rather than TPing home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hard to know what, what to overtake them. Yeah, it? yeah, it's for them to buy back force and then you them to buy back. Yeah, force your team to buy back and you'll overtake them in gold, yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> um so yeah, no, not but it's good. It's good. Cause especially like like yeah. I said, they didn't lose a building in that engagement, so ultimately you know, they're no worse off. Like if they take a tier three and maybe a, a barracks or something, or your team mm. don't have buyback, then I feel like you do need to go back, but you know, probably a good call there, really, it to stay and just keep putting pressure on. And eventually, it does get they got the kill on Obst right after as well, didn't they? So it was like extra profit. Um, yeah, interesting. Wisdom runes are picked up. Um, and look, if, they, if they're going for the for the late game here, they can heal their towers up with frost shield anyway. Yeah. And the candor. Luna as well. Now coming back oh, to the Oh, hand is online. Yeah, I think this That's is nasty. Yeah, this is um, a good shout from the chat here that it might be time for uh, Luna to start appearing because uh, huge damage. Um, it's going to be a tricky, tricky one. A probably side of spherical looking to set up for Roche, you'd imagine. Yep. Is back up and they will take it. I think that means the buybacks are off cooldown, most likely. I oh, know a few, a couple minutes on the, a couple minutes still to go for the buybacks, but uh, mm. and even so, they don't have enough gold on a couple of them either to, to do it. So yeah. they'll get a, a good two minute window here to be able to take to put a little high ground push together. But they are now pushing into an even farm further farmed Luna. So there is that. Um, who's, the life stealer again. He's currently putting some pressure on the middle lane, although Obs comes back and deals with that real quick. So yeah, just making sure the lanes are pushed before before they have to deal with this yeah. Aegis life stealer. Yeah, Luna will be 
doing some shenanigans bot lane as well, trying to take this last tier two. As Life yeah. just waddles, waddles up, gets Gleipnir, uses the rage to get out. And we'll just walk away. Just walk away. And, and Luna will send her illusions down to hit this tier two bot. In. As uh, Spherical can do a little combined push on this mid and top wave at the same time. Yeah, until the fight starts. Obster's in. Has, uh, marshaled this wave up the mid lane. And now says, follow me. Uh, Needs to come back now. Need the Luna. They put the old Roshan's banner down so these creeps don't take any damage. They do get pulled past the tower. Um, Luna is not coming back but is cutting the wave mid. So Spherical will not have a, a creep wave in a moment. Uh, now Severin taking a lot of damage. Does have the Aegis and it will get popped. Oh no, does no hops inside. Oh, sorry, my bad. It was like right on the yeah. same timing, and that's big damage onto the lane. Now he's in deep. Uh, we'll just rage to get out. And Luna's the, coming back. The Phoenix ult was was good, save their life. But now Luna just taking oh, huge oh, amounts of damage, up. and this life stealer just shreds through the damage. Probably needs to buy back if they don't want to lose a lane of Rax here. Sleeping Moon's Aegis will go down, but the Shadow Demon catch now comes out onto the, onto the Luna. I think Spherical are probably quite happy. Forcing the last two yep. buybacks, and we'll back away, be able to push out this bot lane, and see what they can do. Phoenix ult, Mars ult, uh, both down as well. And it looks like they want to fight, so they might be forced to re-engage here. Although Luna it's walks all, up and then decides they don't roll. want to. Uh, but now they do want to chase after know, the CP move. They should know they can go. Pops inside the Shadow Demon, um, who then uses the oh. Glimmer Cape to juke oh. out. And should just TP oh. out here because they're chasing after the Witch Doctor. The Witch Doctor will go down and they might be able to find Snapfire as well. The Gleipnir comes out, reveals a bit of where they are, but yeah, Shadow Demon oh, like with the Glimmer the Cape wave. was huge, getting rid of the Life Stealer. Oh, just blinks the wrong way. Spear just misses onto the, <laughs> onto the Snapfire. Goes the wrong way. Yeah, they but got now, him now, though. Got him now. Down into this, uh, the trees. I see that. We're just wasting time whilst. Spherical will push out the rest of these lanes. Speared into the pit doesn't <laughs> land. We'll just stand, make a last stand in here. <laughs> Is that how that works? Backed into a corner. Um, in the meantime, and Luna the, being the Luna. caught mid. Oh, the Mars always huge. huge. Trouble, the dieback. Well, there's a dieback, and now the Life Stealer hops inside the Mars. The big damage coming out. Steven Moon then pops out and now turns onto the Lena. They, pri they reprioritize. They go for the Lena oh, instead no. of the Mars. Nice stun from the Mars to save the, the Lena to start with, but the Slice Dealer with Rage is now catching up, and now oh, no. Obst with the Blink is on top of him as well. Double kill, double kill for Obst. Two huge kills, and that's a double dieback with no buybacks available. And that is game. GG, all three cores <laughs> down, and GG called. What? What just happened? And that is how Spherical win the game. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm lost for words. <laughs> that game was like... <laughs> <That's> <laughs> chaos! It was just such that a chaotic a... end. Utter chaos. And oh man. We just uh, all went wrong at the end. With the, uh, with the Snapfire, I guess, sort of... Um, just like wasting so much time in the bot lane. And in the meantime, mid lane, they find the Luna, who I guess got a little bit too bold. I, I, I must admit, I wasn't watching that part of the fight. So. No! But when we tune in, the Marzol gets popped and doesn't actually manage to save the Luna. And it all just unravels from there. Lena gets caught. Um, and that's good ta target prioritization, I feel like, from, um, from Spherical in the end as well. Just to, like, actually let the Mars go. Like, we don't wor we're not worried about the Mars. If we get Lena here, then we're... We should be good. And so they switch yeah. it up. Managed to get the rage out. Um, as and well actually, as do some damage. the play from Moist Goblin with the with the Glimmer and the, the Duke through the trees yeah. was what sparked all that. Because otherwise the Life Dealer wouldn't have been over there with, with the Luna running back. Yeah. And so Man. all that, all that, uh, all that time for the Luna to get back into the game, and uh, unfortunately just unravelled in one fight with the buybacks expended. Yeah, too aggressive on the buybacks. Um. So yeah, I mean, who? <laughs> so where would you give your MVP, Mark? What are you thinking? Um. 
Uh, I'll give it to Moist Goblin just for that, just for that game-winning play. He changed it from potentially losing a team fight to winning the game with one simple juke. That's all it took. Yeah, well, what a game we had in game one. It was remarkably close for the majority and then just unraveled really fast for Team Sit Out. Um, but we'll take a little break and be back in a couple minutes' time and we can uh, go again for game two. What a crazy end to game one. We will see you in a moment. All right, hello, welcome back. Uh, I think I'm just waiting for my uh, my co-caster to return. But uh, we are just recovering from the the end of that that game, which uh, <laughs> sort of built up and built up and built up, and we thought there's a team fight coming, and then unfortunately the cause on the side of uh, Sitel get get caught out, and the game goes the way of Team Spherical. Um, so. Kudos to anyone who uh, predicted Spherical win, only 39% of you. <laughs> I mean, what I will say is, this must be the first time but since we've been casting, Mark, that yeah. we've done our pre-game predictions after the draft, and I've won, when I haven't been choosing the same thing as you. <laughs> How crazy yeah, is I think, that? I think you might be right. Like, genuinely. Like, it's genuinely the first time I've ever, off my own steam. And to be honest, I didn't even <laughs> choose Spherical because of their draft. <laughs> I chose them because uh, they're gamers, and I believed, I believed in them. I believed in the gamers. They did play flawlessly for those last few minutes. Yeah. Really. Like, just no mistakes. 
there there was definitely uh yeah it was um the bit like the the early game was delightful obviously the snapfire did work and the put the pressure on the lunar already in the yeah. top lane and then you kind of the the little little post farming phase they were in control then they had a couple of little throws uh, let's sit out back in let the lunar back in and it was only the buybacks that were my concern, really, from sit out, and obviously that was what cost them in the end. He seemed very trigger happy with the buybacks. I think in in the I don't I don't yeah I think if your Luna's not coming home, then it, I understand it for sure. Um, but then once once you've bought back and you know you don't have buybacks, yeah, you've 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 gone out to force a fight. You've got a, a, a kill, then that's that's fine. You can then chill. You don't need to ch chase the whole map. I don't think. I think that's too much. Yeah. Especially when the you know the cores on the other side are are still up. Yeah. No. Uh, agreed. Agreed. Um, imagine imagine getting caught out not <laughs> after buying back. You know. <laughs> Only, only the best do that. <laughs> only the best get caught out after buying it's back and done. lose their team the game. You know, it's easily done. It is. I easily won't throw any shade on that one. All right, we're back into the draft of game two. Um, in case you've just joined or you know, you know, missed the first game, Spherical won after about forty minutes um, with some good team fights and uh, eventually picking off the cause of sit out to win the game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Toffee. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, that was the result of game one. We are now in the draft of game two. Um, and the Shadow Demon has been banned. Mm. Uh, but Spherical, uh, the same bans as last time, yeah, in the same similar. order. Viper Slardar, back-to-back. Um, and actually a similar start for sit out as well taking out the clockwork and and the ta which they did last time too the one that they haven't banned yet is the centaur five seconds um obviously they had a slightly different ban orders last time so um, now the centaur gets removed so they've added shadow demon into their list of their four bans um spherical with the same three to start with the other one they banned in this the other two they banned sorry in this phase last time when they had four was necro and shadow fiend so it'd be interesting to see what they prioritize mm. they prioritize necro. necro and spherical will take snapfire first pick so they liked the pressure that applied in the off lane and i think also was nice they can utilize it in multiple different positions right because if we were in the draft <laughs> yeah. we weren't actually sure where it was going but it was definitely a toss up between well it was yeah. it's usually a four slash five right and they use it as a three but we didn't did wonder whether it could be a two as well so it gives a lot of yeah, I'm not uh, sure, options i'm not sure how well as it did in in a three position i mean i know that like mid game is really its worst point in the game but it was lunar um, again tricky back to back is it going to be the same lane again <laughs> this is the lunar want that um yeah, I mean, they can just now snap fire again. Um, so, Ten seconds. we will see. Um, Dawnbreaker ban. Yeah, so Spherical taking out the Dawnbreaker. Um, again, as I said before the draft of game one, um, Spherical has a 100% team win rate with Dawnbreaker. I think it's been picked like I want to say nine times. I think they've won Rating nine games. Wow! Without loss on Dawnbreaker. So if they're not that's taking really it, skewing I guess they don't the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that's not worked necessarily within this tournament. I don't know if they've even picked it in this tournament. But uh, okay. um, in fact, I would say that Dawnbreaker probably doesn't have a great win rate given I've played it. Uh, <laughs> So that probably helps as well. <laughs> yeah. So 
similar bands coming out again. The Medusa was taken out last time as well. Um, as was the Sand King. As was the Sand King, although that was a little late at this time. And previously that was... Um, Victory Arbrooks uh, to just follow. Thanks for the follows. I've missed a couple earlier, so thanks guys for following. I appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, I think it was actually Sit Out who banned. Yeah, it was Sit Out who banned Sand King last time, and that was one of the last picks when they were still thinking that Spherical wanted a three, but actually it was the Obs Hero. So that's that is that was something. Um, All right, Zai, your turn. Abaddon. Now, I have this one written down as well. This hero has a crazy win rate in this tournament. Um, it has 11 picks, 91% win rate. Well. So, I think... I do feel like it's just good. Yeah. It's, everything is good. And it's definitely one sit out of play before, because I have it written down under my sit out section of my little, bit, my little notes here. <laughs> so, they are following... Um, yeah. So, I think the... Ah, I've just been raided. Thank you, Maury. Much appreciated. Yeah, like heal, good. Shield, good. Slow, silence, good. Live, good. Dyer's turn to pick. Uh, Warlock. No, I don't have don't have that one to hand, so not not something I expected to see, but still. Um, good support. Do you have any idea how uh, the the bonds work with with Abaddon's ult? Ten seconds. Um, I don't. I don't, unfortunately. Five seconds. I guess it counts as not taking damage, right? Uh, yeah, I would assume not. Mars back again. So Mars has come back for a second a second run at it. Um, <laughs> on the other team. Now, on though. the other team. So they have the so that yeah that's your three and four then Snapfire Mars and then you've got Warlock, safe lane support so mid and carry remaining. Um, now sit out have to reveal Five their seconds, bit. Four, Luna obviously safe three. lane carry. <laughs> I think we might have somebody in the in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I need him. to remove this person. Yeah, I would, I would probably. Um, <laughs> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> but what is, it was a very good question though, as to why they aren't using their webcam. I appreciate that. <laughs> right, where were we? Uh, mild distraction. Okay, so it's set out next, obviously. They, they ban Medusa again. That's what they banned in game one. The one thing they haven't banned that they banned last time is Bristleback, but they favoured the Shadow Demon ban instead. And now go Nyx Assassin instead. It's a little bit of change right. up. Um... <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Ten seconds. How do they know if you hang out? That's a good question. I appreciate now John and Dave just appear to like <laughs> complain that we banned them. <laughs> yeah. These guys are only here for one thing, honestly. Yeah. Kunker. Yeah, that's nice. Nice. Lovely. Love that hero. Ten seconds left. Um. Don't More survivability as well. I haven't written it down. So let's have a look. Kunker, four games, twenty-five percent win rate. Yeah, my bad. That's also me. <laughs> um, there you go. Twenty-five. Right. If win you're rate. um, if you're spherical, what are you what are you picking here? Well, you've got. Hmm. What carry are you after? Well, this is uh. You know, that is a good question. I mean, what looking at the lineup, is this Abaddon, where does Abaddon even play now? Is it a five, three, four? Uh, four, three or four? Three or four. I'm guessing it's going to be a Nyx Abaddon off. One a mid Kunker. Oh, that's a good point. Cause I don't know. You're, you're looking Maybe at it could be a five Abaddon. 
That's a doom. that's a that's a yeah, that's an obst mid doom that. That's nice. Can this guy move his shield out of the way? Honestly, I can't see Doom. <laughs> yeah, he keeps like getting out and spinning it as well. Like <laughs> Like, dude, please. <laughs> we get it. Got a shield. <laughs> um Yeah, the Doom 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 is very nice, actually. <laughs> Um, why do I feel like this Luna's going to have a tough lane again? I think the Luna might have a tough lane again. Um, but this time, I mean, look, they got back into the game. It wasn't the lane in the end, was it? It was just they had the buybacks expended and all, all perished. Yeah. So, a couple more bans on each team now before we get back there. So... We have yes, they want. Yes, this could be this could be Team Red versus Team Blue. Oh, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that is true. Huge, if true, actually. We love to see this. Um. So Lars Nix isn't particularly blue, but uh. Yes, yeah, so Axe gets banned, but this time by Spherical. Obviously, they've taken their pause three. So I think they think they're looking for a pause three. Then maybe. And now, well, I, Spherical, I think, definitely looking for their POS 1. Um, they have last pick as well, so they have time to think about the whole draft with the Ten seconds. with the carry pick. So, oh no, no, sorry, Ten wrong seconds. wrong way around. Four. The arrows, uh, it's because the arrows point in the opposite direction. I wish it would yeah, just like, be obvious, but no. <laughs> My bad. So no, they don't. But... So forget everything I said, basically. Just ignore me. I'm not here. <laughs> the Lifesteal are banned after the last game, which is fair, because the Lifesteal did work. And the CK ban as well is quite nice. Eliminates another... Stop banning red heroes. Strong carry, and yeah, another couple of red heroes that could be... <laughs> Bloodseeker. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it could be Bloodseeker. Although I don't know if that is... Um... Well, I don't know. Do you need more, more, more melee? Yeah, I, but, but like less beefy, so more agi and mm. red, ideally. Are there any ranged red heroes? <laughs> Shadow fiend. Shadow fiend. Yeah, wasn't actually banned this time. Timbersaw ban. I feel like that means it's a. Uh... Yeah, they definitely think it's the off laner that they require then. So is this like Nyx 4, Abaddon 5, Kunkka off lane, Luna, Luna, Luna carry, and they need a... No, because that wouldn't work. Like Kunkka mid, they think then. <laughs> I'm confused. Could be Kunkka mid. But I think that I think Abba 5, five seconds. Nyx and Kunkka off, Luna safe, and then you're looking for a mid. Yeah. Has potential. Or you can put, yeah, put your Kunkka mid then. then. Yes! Yeah, Stroll! Troll. He's red. He's red. Red <laughs> draft. Let's go. <laughs> they did it. Team red. Those mad lads actually did it. And good, uh, good call in the chat there. I saw that. Uh, I, no, Max, I read it. Don't worry. I read it. <laughs> I. This is where I get half of my Dota knowledge, Max. Of course, I'm reading chat. <laughs> right. Of course, I'm reading chat. Come on, Team Blue. Yeah, so what blue hero? I need a blue offlane hero. Uh, As, or like, I guess you could go like blue, blue green. Does green still fit? You could do like a morphling mid. <laughs> and Kunker off. Or something weird like drow mid. <laughs> <laughs> Luna, <laughs> Luna mid, drow safe lane. <laughs> they have played drow, but I don't think it will fit in if they've taken the Luna already. Seems to me that they'll... Stick with that. Yeah, it could be Venge. And so they could think. It, um, yeah, Venge is a shout. Kind of a little bit purpley, but. Uh, yeah. If we're allowing Nyx to be blue, then we're sure. We yeah, Nyx is, so Nyx is blue, right? <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Red versus blue. And Nyx Assassin. Let's go. <laughs> Nyx Assassin. It's and it's the Dire versus. The, this is. Beautiful. Oh, he's got a red set. That's no good. And the the radiant is in blue, and the dire is in red. It's ideal. This is, this is excellent. And yeah, so four snapfire this time, three Mars. Yeah, the doom mid as expected, and obviously super moon troll warlord. So yeah, warlock will then be the five, and then yeah, top lane. So it's the lunar 
in the Sea returns to the Luna for a second game. Abaddon 5, Nyx offlane support, and then mid Kunker, and then off is that offlane Razor? Yeah, it's offlane Razor then. Pulse 3 Razor. Yes. Five seconds. Yeah, we need to. Get... I guess against the troll is nice. No. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And I don't think Seething is going to have a, a, an alright time mid against Doom. Yeah. Yeah. Right, who are you giving it to? Oh, I better start a. <laughs> start a thing. Alright, I'm um, giving, giving you two minutes this time. I, uh, I'm backing Spherical again. I just like the the roundedness of their draft and obviously the mo the momentum of game one. This doom set, that doom set's crazy, by the way. Holy shit! Look at that. I wish I could see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it because of the fucking <laughs> within <laughs> Mars spinning his um, field about? So I, I'm yeah. I feel like the troll trolls are really nice in this game. Um, yeah, it's a lot of melee in this game. Yeah, this is this should be brawly. I'm hoping that it's brawly. Uh, and the, the warlock behind nice. the raise is nice too. Yeah, the, the, the warlock too, very nice. So yeah, I'm going to go spherical, but it, I think it'll be close. I think it'll be close. Well, I'd love to see a uh, an ags abba. Yeah, because that would do mondo work. So which way? I'll you be can... uh, I'll be contrarian and, and and go the opposite. I'm going to go uh, go team sit out. Nice. All right, so we're locked in the same as uh, same as game one then. So uh, <laughs> that's the wrong one. Last right, hits denies. Yeah. Activate the old cams. Not the camera that that <laughs> particular viewer wanted though. Now, answer me this: <laughs> Why is your webcam not? <laughs> um, listen. <laughs> I'm full of Nando's. I don't need that. <laughs> I'm full of Nando's. Right. Let me run you through the teams before we potentially have some early engagements, but it does look like both teams are willing to chill. So let's go through sit out first this time. Yoso on the offlane Razor, Admiral Seething on the mid Kunker, Lulu on the Nyx Assassin, which does actually look bluer now. So I think they changed the set, which is ideal. Um, That's great stuff. Wurzag on Abaddon and Ianasir returns once again to Luna. And on the dire side of Spherical, the Team Red, as we know, as they are known, Obst is on this mid Doom, Phosphorus on Mars, Sleepy Moon on the Troll Warlord, Moist Goblin on the uh, Snapfire, and Kyle Kimball on the Warlock. So, teams Red out, and yet no action. Just happy to chill once again. Yeah, the Nyx changed the set, but unfortunately the Troll still has the blue set, so uh, a bit no. of imposter over here. They're still, they're still red. <laughs> they're still red. It's fine. It's, it's red versus blue. Look thought. I don't know whether this is how it works already, but how cool would that be if, when he changed to melee form, it switched color? Oh, that would be sick. A uh, an Arcana maybe. Hmm. Although, do, do people really like that hero enough to vote? Do they even <laughs> vote for these things anymore? They just give them to heroes. I don't even remember. I don't it. know. Like, what was my compendium for, Val? What did I get from this? <laughs> uh, good. Reminds me of the time where, the old in the old compendium, when uh, you could, you get you got votes by like how far through it you were or whatever, and uh, oh yeah, I I bribed Braxy for downing his beverage for me to vote the witch doctor, and the witch doctor lost anyway. Good time. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> so, I still actually, I still actually owed that down as well, so I've never redeemed it. And Yoso getting very low top lane, he gets all the damage from Sleepy Moon, but the axes actually just take the kill instead. That's the enough. first blood going to the carry on the side of Spherical. And now Lulu will be in a bit of trouble as well. Uh, Big damage from the yeah. clicks. Um, nice little double stun. Yeah, that's lovely. A little ravage, a little mini ravage there. So, yeah. Let's see how we do. Anyway, if I was going to have my webcam on, I'd just like. Um, but it's like cat cam anyway. Cat cam. Um, yeah, my my our third our third caster. <laughs> um, although she's currently asleep, and I do not want to disturb her because last time she wouldn't stop yapping in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I I do love do love my cat, but uh, 
could do without that when I'm, especially in the old Lena Luna game, I could have talked about that. <laughs> Moise Goblin taking a bit of damage in this off lane, and trying to return some, trying to basically reenact game one with the damage onto the Luna, but um, the shield from, they basically just yeah. upgraded the Lich, haven't they? Because now they've got the shield, yep. they've got the Abaddon shield instead, so they're like, ah, yep. yeah, this this will do it. Um, especially as it was a, a first pick, Snapfire, and then the return pick of Luna, like it was in game one. The sit out, prioritizing the Luna. Um, Already it seems better in this lane for the Luna. <laughs> Way better. I didn't speak too soon, but... She has been able to get some nice damage out. Yeah. Um, it's suffering a little in the last hits, so I think just because the, the sheer harass from the Snapfire. It does just get a double, double shot off. It'll scatter Blast. And now, oh, Wurzag is getting a bit of damage. Does shield himself. Yeah, and we'll turn shield. around. Uh, Luna needs the, to be really careful. Yeah, the courier is exchanged for her life. Here, yeah, Nasir goes down in the lane once again. Um... It's unfortunate for sit out. Not the best start. Does get the courier of the Mars, but I believe had delivered the items already. So yes, sad. So not super impactful. Not but... a worthwhile trade, I don't think. No. Um, meanwhile, the Nyx assassin was doing some dewarding. I can see that in the, on the old ticker. In the meantime, um, spherical not. Afraid to get close to this tower and start, you know, dealing damage to this wave. We'll back off a touch now, as uh, Lotus Orb for Lotus picked up by the next assassin. Uh, oh, is the mid list fairly even again? Yeah, um, I think. I think. I don't think either of these do enough damage to kill the other one, do they? No, and I think again it will be about the rotations at level six for both. Um, yeah. To get kills in other lanes, so that will be when we see. I don't know whether Doom that is a whether Doom even gets Doom at six, or just continues to level other spells to farm. I have no idea. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, <laughs> I feel like you always get Doom. Though. It's been ages since I played this hero, so that was, that was my assumption. But it depends. I guess if you're not rotating around, if you're not gonna use it, like you're not gonna even if you Doom Conquer, are you gonna kill him in the lane? So like, is it, you have to like go and use no. it and take it somewhere else. No. Right? I don't think you do. Hello. Uh, top lane, the Razor once again gets the old static link out, and now this is Ooh, big damage nice on the stun. Super Moon. Lovely stun by Lulu, and will get oh. the carry. Yoso returns the kill after losing a kill earlier, conceding one earlier in the lane. Gets one back on Sleepy Moon with the stun. That was excellent stack, from Lulu. Static link damage. God, I really nice, can't say that. Nice stun through the trees. Yeah, it was a lovely stun. Um, I think the supports were essentially that pulling. That gives slow, a stat statically. That slow, as well. It did feel. Or like is Razor just really fast? Razor is really fast, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't. I know you can get the upgrade that like pulls them towards you, which is kind of a slow, uh, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so even trades so far, and Spherical still with an early minor advantage, two kills to one. Yeah, it's a lot better for sit out in the laning phase than last game. A lot better. It also um Luna actually getting the better of the troll. I think it genuinely uh actually I wanna wanna give a shout out there. I get I know the Nyx obviously got the stun, but before that it was the D warding that set it all up because it meant that the warlock was out of the lane. Yeah. Countering the wards. So the D warding that the Nyx had done in the prior Look at these two cars the battling it out. Where's that in the <laughs> Where am I looking? Bot lane? No, they, they, oh, they, yeah, they, they, they died now. They died. Oh, now yeah, this is Luna goes trouble. down and they're doing big damage to Luna. We'll get the heal from the Abaddon. Oh, huge. That is great. Great heal. So much more sustain in this lane. Yeah. It will be huge for the Luna. That's, uh, it will be good to not be 
have to come back from behind, but instead be able to do something. getting a bit too aggressive there. The shield and comes out. Cookied, and now, rock shot. So that's the shield down. But the Mars is in a bit of a trouble here. And uh, running away careful. towards their tower. Although the Lunar is also Oh low, no, and that's Doom a misclick. Doom is here. Does have Doom at level 6. Turns out they do take it. But they would just run down Wurzag. And now try and Doom the Lunar. No, just a stun. Still has Doesn't Doom. Doesn't need it. Doesn't need Doom. Doom's there it goes. in the end. And now... That's... A, why is it the... When did... Oh, they killed Yoso in the top lane as well. Sorry, Moist Goblin goes down. I was... Sorry, I was baffled. But they obviously killed <laughs> Yoso while all these other teams there. I was like... I looked up at the top and I was like, why are there four dead? <laughs> there were three there. Um, sorry, I got completely stunlocked by the game there. My bad. Um, yeah, great rotations from Spherical. And great what, rotations. What it, what it means is that the Spherical are yet to pick up... No, sorry, sit out yet to pick up their... Uh, it was the rune because they're all bot lane. Um, getting killed, unfortunately. Yeah, nice rotation from uh, from Doom. Held the I Doom think they for even so long. The Doom. No, probably not. I don't think they needed um, to use it. That's why he was holding it. They were just so low. Just needed one click. Yeah. <laughs> and the kill onto Yoso solo as well, top lane. And Sleeping Room is already level six. Um, Yeah, Seething obviously getting a couple, uh, getting a level ahead of Obs now because of Obs rotation, but it does rotate to get a triple kill, so <laughs> three zero zero on your on your Doom in think, less than I ten think minutes. I think okay you'll take that. that. Yeah, exactly. I think you will take that. And say, so, uh, have a look at Sneaking Moon top lane again. Seething's coming top. Yeah, so they're gonna try and make a play. Well, this uh, Shadow Word here was very nice. Sleeping Moons. He's, in going, deep. he's going to the secret shop to pick up his Cornucopia, <laughs> but it will probably cost his life. Let's get the uh, the ult off. Got a proper lock for it. But uh, yeah, we'll eventually go down, and it isn't seemingly doing it has any no damage. damage. Yeah, it does no damage at all um, to any of them. So 150 link. Just made them wait Damn a little stolen. bit. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, Mars ult dropped and gets Luna. Where's Ag? Not a lot they can do about that. Just pops. A core for a core. Right, trading up. Carries all round. Does give an advantage in gold at least to sit out. So, although that I think that's just tracking the, the troll kill and not the lunar death. So, yeah. Please ignore. It's not so. <laughs> You've got two level fives in this lane for sit out versus a level six and seven. Like no, no wonder they got the kill with the old Marzol. He's level seven already. They didn't even have Snapfire six then either, so even more damage coming out. As uh, now we'll stack this, stack this camp. They are under the vision of a, uh, of a ward. Luna aggressive. Oh, get stunned against the tower. Low health. And now the, the hop in, but well, the Lunar ult is out, and now Mars is in big trouble. Oh, they the heal not quite connecting in time. And they did have to use the Snapfire ult to get the kill. And now all four have rotated down on the side of Team Sitout, so they will get the double kill in exchange, but the Lunar dies yep. once again. And the Courier They're not going to well. let that one stand. Courier juking through the trees. Does get out in the end. The Courier, the lone survivor of that lane. And mid lane. Yeah, so is Courier. <laughs> Not so lucky. Yeah, Obs will now put pressure on this mid tower in, in exchange, and the same as Sleeping Moon top top lane. So the glyph has to come out. Uh, nice little uh, counter play from Sit Out. Uh, obviously, unfortunate to lose the Luna. Oh, it was um, so close. Abaddon had cast the uh, the old heal, the miscoil, and it was on its way, but just the Luna yeah, popped before too, it arrived. Yeah, that was that. So you do have, yeah, you had six on Luna. Must have just got it right before the fight because uh, managed to uh, yeah. get that to do a lot of damage onto uh, onto the Mars. I actually got cookied kind of out of position in a weird way. Um, I guess I wanted a follow up stun after the spear, but <laughs> the cookie actually kind of put him out of position. Mid lane, Obs has doomed Admiral Seething and is running down under tower, but will get very, very low and does actually go down first. And now Moist Goblin might not even get the counter kill. Does kill the Kunker in the end, but will just die to the tower. Wow. So and they're chasing top two. Another two for one. 
Uh, yeah, and Sleepy Moon and the Warlock being forced out. Now Kylo Kimber will go down, you would think here. Oh! Yeah, Luna getting the kill with the stun. Nice, four levels in the loose and beam straight and up. Once again, this game Must have fought. fluctuating back towards evens. My goodness. Just like game one. Blessings upon a loyal warrior. What a bounty! Illusion. Both teams wanted to fight. Yeah, well, we we did say actually that they were, we were hoping for a bit more of a brawly game because it did feel like that was only possible as uh, several little torrent combo. That's a, a lot of damage, damage on the troll. <laughs> yeah, troll takes a bit. I guess a few stick charges in exchange, but uh, we'll put pressure on the tower as well. But I don't know if you can hang around. Strike so will rotate somebody in. Uh, the next assassin is uh, having a look and doing some dewarding and. I reckon we're trying their best to keep up as well with the D wards. Um, uh, lining up on Yoso in the bot lane. Yeah, and this is the combo. The muzzle, the snapple. Phosphorus didn't even need to use the the God's rebuke in the end. <laughs> just, just trapped and let the the snap fire do all the damage. Nice little combo. Picks up the kill bot lane. He's a price for being in lane. Yep, we have no friends at hand and no TPs coming out, so. Uh, six on the Warlock as well. Big Golem available for the next fight. Does just mm. need to be careful of the Kunker. Who <laughs> um, is five levels ahead of him. <laughs> yeah, would. Yeah, we'll definitely, definitely cook him. Already with the Blade Mail. Um, and he's getting Ags straight away, which we love to see. Bit of Ags action. Great spell. So, it's going to be great into three melee carries as well. Yeah. So. Luna seems to be having an alright time. Yeah, he's moved up Got into the Mask of Madness side. on the line. Yeah, moved into the top jungle to try and uh, get some space. Got a little bit of space. Seems to go heavy on the Lucent Beam early. Yeah, this is the, uh, the Torrent into boat combo, and with boat. the Lunar ult, that will be a Shredder's Doom. Yeah. Not taking any chance it was that drop all the odds. <laughs> yeah. Such a good pick off there. <laughs> still an advantage for Spherical. Um, who are now putting. They trade the mid tower. Yeah, take the mid tower and now are moving up quite aggressively. Snapfire almost found. Do you have vision up in that little little pathway there? So did spot the razor mm. out, but the team the rest of the team weren't there. So yeah, take the top tower. Um, They're gonna find Luna. Luna's hanging Sneak. around, so. They will go it's AD on Mars. Looks like they will prioritize the wave rather than going and trying to find a kill that they don't actually know is there. Yeah, I don't think they spotted. Gonna take the portal bot. Up the farm down there. Nyx is getting a day gone. <laughs> it's got the recipe. Great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Luna's getting into her stride now with the farming. Yeah, as Lulu Moonglaze will... maxed. Lulu does find. You can tell Dyer's middle tower is on Mars TPing in, and they do get the mid tower in the end anyway, so yeah, Luna. Mid tower gone down for nothing. Yeah, net worth wise, yeah, head of Mars. Obviously, it's the Razor at the moment that's a little bit further back. Uh, after those couple of deaths as well. It's a bit unfortunate. Not doing too bad. Feels pretty even. I don't know about you, but it feels pretty even to me. It, that's because it is pretty even. <laughs> We're waiting for something to happen, and now it's Obst who's going to get caught again in the mid lane. The boat combo is lovely, with the stun follow oh. from Lulu. Perfect. And gets the kill. That will help towards the Daycon. That's, that's a Master great first, pick just, again. Just the recipe There's to two go. of them that time as well. Yeah. Although the smoke onto two of them now. Yeah, and now the Marzol comes out. Lulu gets caught inside. Uh, although the, the Snapfire ult wasn't quite there, but should... Not quite enough to take him down. Not quite enough, and especially with turn. the Abaddon rotating in. Gets the heal and the shield out. So now they've caught the, whip, the Warlock, who will get lifted up. And the smoke comes out, I think, to disengage rather than to reposition. 
So the side of spherical will get out of there. Yeah. Um, Ten kills each. Yeah, good fight for sit out that one. Makunka making stuff happen. Now Lulu's maybe stay too long. Yeah. Oh, the cookie leap misses, so we'll have a chance to give the old runaway. And now the slow comes out from the warlock, but won't stay in it long Whoa. enough to have too much impact. Oh, bulwark misses. The misses. The oh. misses. Sorry, and uh, do eventually go down to the, the snap fire. Again, yeah, Abaddon just so close to being able to save, but not quite. Yeah, Kunka nearly, nearly at Axe. That will be nice. He's got it. Yeah. He's got it. Get it shipped. <laughs> yeah, so BKB Midas already for Obst on this uh, mid Doom. I think it's pretty I'm sure someone stuff. in chat will appreciate my pun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I completely missed it. <laughs> Get it shipped! Nice. Nice. Yeah, because, yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm yeah. afraid to go to ship, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, a, he's an ally. Oh, Luna! Luna's been doomed! And Mars ulted. Mars ulted. And I fear there is no escape from this particular predicament. No. Although, Luna comes in and yep. tries to get the Warlock in exchange, does so. Um, exit is down for everyone receiving, though. He did use it on the Warlock, so they will be able to disengage now. Um, huge kill for Spherical, that. Picking up the Luna. Um, are they just wandering out of position, were they? I didn't see the start of the fight. Are they just wandering out of position on the Luna? Or? I'm guessing. They pushed mm. up. Is, uh, where they perished. <laughs> uh, uh, another, fight, another fight coming on here. Mars. Oh, missed done. The blink away is not going to do it. Yeah, we'll the just double boat is going to do it. The boat comes in, and that is nice damage. Mars goes down. This out, getting some lovely kills here. Yeah, both teams Still having heroes that have been caught out, and we're evens on kills once again. <laughs> What a close game, man. Troll is deep in the jungle. He's got his Battle Fury online. Troll in the dungeon. Um, Warlock just uh, checking the high grounds with the courier for wards. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little guy. It's like, uh, he tried to do so, and the Abaddon's up there. Don't want to get caught out. They're TPing oh, last bottom. Yes, it's a Raises lovely Marzal onto two. Seething will... Oh, that's the, that's the shard as well on Seething. Not dead yet. Gets a bit of the pushback. Lunar and Yoso is surviving and also taking, taking a lot of damage. Does eventually... They do eventually get the kill. Sleeping Moon will finish that one up. And now Lunar is in big trouble because the ult from the... Uh, oh. Troll gets used, but now the, the reposition by the Kunker was really nice, but will still go down in the oh. end. Lulu manages to pick up a kill there on the back go. lines, and now he's looking to TP out. It's gets TP! Oh. Gets rooted. Got rooted and mid TP. So that is four dead for sit out. And only mm. exchanging the Mars with the Dagon. I think that was the Dagon, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs> Need to whiff a couple of spells, but uh... yeah, obviously the uh, Nyx, Nyx damage and and Dagon securing the kill in the end. There's a nice setup from Spherical with the Mars coming in first, just getting the the two yeah. locked in, and then it was all, the raise their razor was already super low, so I don't think popped didn't pop out. Obviously, it was already too low. Probably felt like not worth not worth it in the fight. And then, yeah, it was lovely repositioning by the Kunker as well. Um, just, uh, I think if they if they get a good muzzle, you know you've got bonds, you've got rock, you've got snapfire, you've got a, a battle fury troll. Yeah, it's big damage. It's just it's a lot. So yeah, if you catch a few in there, it's it's really really dangerous. Well, has it got to be careful. And look at this, the Abaddon's queued up the axe. That's what you love to see. That's what we wanted.
that will go a long way to helping in those Mars orbs, I think. Yeah, and now with the Aegis, they will push this tier 2. Just waiting for the creeps, and then they will uh, use a troll to shred through this uh, tower pretty fast. Sit out, not interested in contesting. And we'll push out the other lanes. So top lane shoved in their favor, mid lane being shoved in their favor too. Uh, I do wonder whether they will try and pressure a tier 3 here off the side of Spherical. Um, do force a Abaddon TP back, but that is all. And Spherical will leave and try and catch it's out towards mid. some of these mid heroes left behind. Arrows even gets the... Uh... Oh, it's a lovely little wave into boat. And the double boat's hit, but obviously with the troll ult out, they will survive whilst doing a, a lot of damage to the Kunker. And now the Aegis gets only uh, Aegis. Ob spots the BKB on the back line, so it does get the Doom out onto the Razor, so there won't be any Razor damage in this fight. And now Yoso is forced to run away with Ob's just chasing. Moist Goblin comes in with the stun, and I think the Sphere... Sphere? Spear. Sorry, Spherical. Spear. <laughs> <laughs> gets the kill. Uh, in the end, and it's just Luna farming this bot lane, and they've TP'd across the Mars, but I don't think they're going to try and find anything, just more forcing them away from the tower. 2k swing, and now it's getting mm. out of hand for Team Spherical. Spherical bringing the numbers to these fights, having a lot better team coordination at this point in the game. Yeah. Sit out are just kind of a bit spread, not all there, not ready for these fights. Spherical taking advantage yeah. of that. They, they were ultimately doing the right thing and pushing out this mid and top lane. Um, but yeah, just getting caught from behind by the uh, by the gank was not ideal. What I will yeah. say is the Kunker plays have been fantastic so far. Um, Very good. And, Very uh, good. Like, uh, and sort of something I didn't consider when playing against the troll as an example, just to be able to like, even during ult, reposition the troll. Um, yeah. And just like kite him a bit. The, re, really the, nice. the tidal wave and the X and the yeah. torrent and the ghost ship. A lot of control. <laughs> what you need. And they will try and clean up this last tier one. And push from there. Obviously, they did burn the Aegis in that fight. but I'm well concerned we're going to have a repeat of the last game where Luna's just off doing her own thing. And the rest of them have to fight. 4v5. Nyx has found a Mars. Yeah, they do get the the X out as well. The stun will follow up. Mars has popped the ult and has pipe as well, so someone's got pipe. Goes pipe. He will go down. Snapfire had pipe. Yeah, it does go down. The Snapfire ult comes out in return. Lulu getting low but won't perish as a result of that. And now Luna is in and with big damage. Oh gets yes. The five kill streak of Moist Goblin oh. as the oh, Warlock TP's out, but it's on. instantly brought back, <laughs> brought back. But now with the Glimmer, will eventually go down as well. So that's a nice fight. The team sits out. The Luna turns up, and they win the fight. Nick's got so incredibly low there. <laughs> yeah. Skirting around. That was a nice yeah, fight. That, that'll help bring it back a little bit. That'll help. 2k. 2k swing. Yeah, More of that. You see, when they, they bring the heroes, the fights fights go much better. Yeah, especially, yeah, basically taking the fights on their terms, right? Before they yeah, got caught exactly. out a couple of times when they didn't really want to be fighting um, and lose a few heroes. But this time, more coordinated effort. Obviously, the Luna coming in as well. Uh, a massive help. And didn't even take any damage on their tier 2 because they engaged before then. So, Seracle will also take their. They're no Tormi, so that goes down. Not much required. These Lena illusions already do so much damage, man. <laughs> Crazy. Got the BKB queued up. What else have we got online here? Mechs online on Abaddon. Hype onto Moist Goblin. Yeah, the pipe used last night. I was frantically clicking yeah. to find out who had it, because I <laughs> assumed it must be the Mars. But... Mars ult onto the Lunar bot. The Lunar ult comes out. The Abaddon's there as backup. Oh, and now Sleeping Moon is in big trouble. Does pop the ult now. Will eventually go down. And now it heals up. Onto the Abaddon. To full the Abaddon. <laughs> but up, once this is over, <laughs> there's only one winner of this the, this engagement. And now so Seething is caught out. Backup. Yeah, but Seething is caught out in the background and gets doomed by Obst. The TP out is huge, actually. 
Yeah, that's and now, very nice. Now Obster's just running down this uh, this Kunkka, and now will turn his attention oh, to, Lulu. to Lulu, Lulu, who goes down. And now Yoso will be the final target on his 1v1. And Obst got the static link back up. Decides not to take that engagement, and it settles, you know, for a swift what double kill? Well, no, actually, a couple of kills going the way of uh, the Warlock, which is nice. Which meant that Lulu got a three kill spree when they killed him. <laughs> so, a little bit of yeah, a, a post fight discussion going on in the all chat as well. That's it. <laughs> It's also noticed by the chat is that the, uh, the tidal wave from the Kunker pushed the <laughs> pushed the TPing uh, Troll Warlord out of the next stun, which would have cancelled this TP. Oh no! <laughs> so, oh no! Yeah. Um, Spherical 12k advantage now. That's that. That has yeah. escalated really quickly. Yeah. I guess it's a byproduct troll of having so much had... control over the map, isn't it? Yeah, they, he's just had so much space to farm. That's it. He's got his BKB, not to mention, which was huge. Not to mention the Doom Midas <laughs> being uh, yes. 5k ahead of the, the highest core on Team Sitout. Yeah. They can't well, they find the Nicks. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the wards plus the, uh, the smoke breaking, I think, alerting them to the fact that the, they were there. A lovely Blink Marzol to catch them. I don't know if they had vision at that particular moment. Although maybe this has been out for a while. Might have been on the now edge. Now they're of... hunting. Now they're hunting. Yeah, with the pick off, they feel strong. I mean, the Nyx isn't more. dead for that long, but definitely time to fight and start to push. And it looks like Troll will just walk up this high ground and start wailing on the tower. The wave will push him back. This is nice. Resets them a little bit. And now. A X out onto the troll. Oh, blink Mars in, is from, in from Mars, but decides not to spear in the end and just backs away the rebuke. And now the Kunga decides to bring them in. And now the boat is out, hits the troll, and the double boat will oh hit two this time. And Yoso is in, steals the Luna's uh, back, steals a load of damage from Sleepy Moon, and this will help contribute to the death of the Mars. That's one. Now Sleepy Moon will have to TP out. Doesn't have stun. Did have st oh was BK? No, it just came off cooldown. Was BKB'd as well, was he? I don't know. Now no, I don't think he was. Now they will chase down the... Obst, who has a they minus find charge. Him. Oh! Oh, and the, the Spike Carapace! Oh, the BKB! <laughs> and unfortunately, still perishes. Doesn't get to use that Midas either. <laughs> Hate to see what it. a gamer, the Spike Carapace on the Scorched Earth. <laughs> to stun him. Very nice. That was lovely Very stuff. Nice. So they get two kills in the end, another 1k gold swinging back the other way, but Spherical's still in control yeah, in this game at the moment. Yeah, more than 2k nearly. <laughs> now the, uh, the Spherical, get Spherical, boys. The Spherical coach in the, in the chat. Please, uh, <laughs> please guys, go Roshan, we talked about it pre-game. As Clive Kimball goes down, does drop the rock and get the link out. So this is big damage from the snap. Why and now, Roche when you can get kills? And now Sleepy Moon is there, but I don't oh. know if they want to take that engage. The the wave doesn't quite catch him out. As yeah, if they Yoso got him onto gets, the low ground there. It would Yoso have been nice. gets Moist Goblin on the back. What the hell? Where the hell was <laughs> this fight? So deep. And now Rage is dead in exchange. Kill. What a. And now they got to back off. That was, that was crazy. <laughs> what? Since when was Razor over there? <laughs> My apologies. It's that, chasing that down the, the snap fire. Yeah, well, there you are. Luna has, <laughs> has BKB. May have had it last fight as well. Now Hurricane Pike queued and going the same build as last game, which I think is just the standard, pretty standard stuff. So it's interesting to see if um, they can get it online any quicker than last game. And if so, it will make any much, any more of a difference. As Sleeping Moon just wandering in to the Radiant Jungle under that vision that Seracle have placed deep in that jungle. Now I've got good news. Now. What's that? I've been watching the troll. Yeah. It does change colour. I think. Yeah, because he's melee now. I think now. it does change colour. And it looks more, a lot more red can than I it was still, before. Can I still like look at the hero from like the third person perspective? There used to be a button here you could do that. Yeah, I don't know if you can do that anymore. Yeah. 
Well, that's cringe. I liked playing Dota that way. I was actually, I was actually better. <laughs> better at third person. Third person Dota. <laughs> as they played on controller as well, didn't you? Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Not still neither as bad as the Botel. Let's put it that way. The Botel lag was. Botel. <laughs> we played. Played one game as Timbersaw and switched every death. And the lag was so bad, you threw a, a Chakram out, and like 30 seconds later, it went where you threw it. But I, <laughs> by that point, the, the fight was over. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a wonder we did any damage. Spherical <laughs> doing what the coach told the out to do. And they no, got told, uh, told, told Spherical to do it. Spherical's coach, I think. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. there you go. Because I believe that they are the sponsor also of the support, the Warlock. <laughs> so, relief. Oh, yes, yes. Relief for the coach. <laughs> um, and now the high ground push begins. Yeah, and that will be a tower shredded. Aegis on the troll, obviously, will be huge. Lena has the flag. Oh, Mars for this fight. in. That is a lovely Mars but the BKBs are dropped, and the rock is dropped in, in comparison as well. And now the Doom onto the Lunar in the back lines, who's silenced up. Yeah, that's and B huge. The BKB'd. They do lose the Warlock, but the Lunar will go down and have to buy back. Admiral Seed goes back. down as well. Wurzag's ult is triggered, but uh, won't get any health back from it. And now. The Luna comes back in, but runs a bit too far up. Needs to be careful. Sleeping Moon still has the Aegis. <laughs> now they bring them the further other into the base, which is exactly what they want. Onto this Luna. Luna will have to run away. The shield comes out and protects them just for now. And now it might be time for Spherical to get out. But the double buyback, you might as well take it and get out of there. Um, as the uh, he ball hooks away. Back and it up, Luna's back it up. Oh, speared out. Nice spear back out. Sleepy Moon's happy so many to saves from the wrong team. <laughs> Sleepy Moon is probably happy to stick around, but is the one with Aegis after all, and now Mars might get caught. They need to not make the same mistake they made last game and go too deep on their buybacks. Uh, yeah, because Luna's just been stunned up again, but Obst gets gets caught, and the blink in from Mars pushes them back. But Doom yeah, down. But this is a period of time where the... Where the oh, Luna. <laughs> yeah, I think if the trolls, Aegis isn't popped there, the troll manages to get the Luna with the damage, but unfortunately, that did get popped right before, so he was out of the fight for a couple seconds. <laughs> As Phosphorus has brought up onto their, <laughs> their high ground by the tidal waves, that's a three killing spree, and now Sleepy will be left to retreat to not, at yeah. pace. And now, this is where the game, like you said, that's turned fine. last time. This is fine. Lulu's toying with the idea of going in. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was an almost 4k gold swing. And BKB's now we're going out. Onto the, on Sleepy Moon. And now Admiral Seeding's in big trouble. He's being targeted by the troll ult. Does pop the BKB themselves. And now out of the BKB. Troll ult's over. And the, troll and the disarm. Ult. It was a lovely little Luna. boat. The stun is nice. And Sleepy Moon will go damage. down. Four kill streak, and now Moist Goblin's in trouble. X marks comes oh, yeah. out. They have any follow up stuns? That's a, uh, that's a they Deadman. do. That is a dead man. Oh my goodness. They're swinging it. They're swinging it back. Okay, just shout out to Wurzag for keeping the Lunar alive. My goodness. Yeah, I think my that's a couple goodness. of fights in a row that that's happened as well. It's pretty crazy. The shield and the miscall coming out so clutch every time. This is so close. Now. Sit out, have a chance to try and push this uh, this tier two. Although it does get he's coming in. Obs has TP'd in, and now he's just going to get X marks. He's got the oh, the Mars, the Mars ult, Mars ult, and the, and Admiral Seeding is really low. If he goes down here, it's kind of huge. Oh, yes, the damage from the bonds, and now in the in the series in trouble as well. He's linked Come on, to Wurzag. Wurzag. Time to do your thing. Wurzag, what happened? Oh, it does no. He, no, if it goes down in the end, and that's two diebacks on the side of sit out. Oh, and Yoso is so low and had again. to TP home. And now Wurzak is just living. Just lives. He tries to go over to the, the Ancients to deny, but does go down in the end. There and you go, all that hard work. Just thrown away in one fight. That's another, well, total probably around 4k swing overall with the might. <laughs> The losses and the gains. Ah. This is Gundota at its finest. <laughs> well said. Dr. They just Dota. go back, <laughs> back and forth, and back again. <laughs> it's throwback to the fight bot. 
on the high ground when both teams saved the enemy carry twice. <laughs> the Mars skewering the Lunar out of the fight. The, uh, the Kunkka bringing the Tidebringer towards the Lunar. Yeah. Oh! Just, uh... Throws, throws everywhere. Crazy. And now, they will drop the rock and just try and push. They know there's no buybacks for two, and Yoso is in big trouble here now as well. Raises in. Especially with the downtown Snapfire ults. And it will force him away. Yeah. And I think if I'm They them, just need to accept the loss here. Yeah. And don't give don't any more, more. anything else away. They will have both back in time to defend another lane. Game is far from over. Well, I say that. <laughs> Last game. Yoso's just been caught by the Mars ult. Needs a BKB. He's got Uses the BKB. Doesn't have a link up, but might Double be able to stun? get onto the... Now gets it out onto Sleeping Moon. So link up. Seeving is back alive and back in the fight. It was a nice boat and X marks back in. So brings the Mars back in. They will take the Mars down. The reposition of the X mark will take him down. Luna's again. back alive. Yeah, and now TP out from the Snapfire as well. So they do get out on Spherical. Realize time to cut their losses. The two heroes back alive. They really need to keep this Luna and Kunker alive. Mm. If they do, it is huge for them. And to be fair, just I don't know to, if there's anything else Wurzak could have done in either of these they fights. Just need to do to chill. It. Like, they've only got one hero dead on Spherical, and they know they're behind them. Yeah. So, it just, like, w let's not push this tower, let's just secure your side of the map, yeah. get some farm, try and catch back up. And all this time, Wurzag like, has, like, just... been building Greaves, like, think of how huge that would be for, like, any of these engagements previously, if you just, like, yeah, rather than running down, just, like, let your, I know he's plus five, but just, like, let, let this guy get, get Greaves, like, you... Let's finish the item. <laughs> yeah, it'd be huge. I mean, the Dagon five on the... <laughs> that's it. Going, that's it. Dig on five. <laughs> and a win late. And then just, yeah, going scythe next. It's like. Uh, hello? Supports are there? Are there supports on this? <laughs> uh, they see the couriers up there. No, I think they're hiding behind their vision in the trees, so just avoiding detection. Right. We chill. We yeah, chill. So. Alright, we got... We That's got, very uh, chill. Yeah. More time to chill. So let's have a look at these items then. So I've just spotted Yoso on the Razor has a uh, Halberd. So that's quite nice. Halberd yes. BKB. And what you got, yep. Kunker with BKB, Blade Mail, Ags. Um, looks like... The Luna's got a Kanda, which is nice. Um, yes, that is nice. And I think it's going Hurricane Pike next on the Curry. In fact, mm. has it, I think, now. Um, What's I also th nice is the nearly finished Daedalus on Sleepy Moon. Yes, pretty huge, with the Satanic already as well. Um, yeah, and even Snapfire's managed to come back for the Glypnir now as well. So, yeah, that'll be that'll items. be them stick slotted. And d do my eyes deceive me? But oh, because he's disconnected. I don't know, but Cornucopia on the Warlock. Isn't that not one of the things you require to build a refresher orb? <laughs> <laughs> for the double <laughs> well the double <laughs> golem <laughs> would be pretty crazy. Uh, Either yeah. that or he's and, going and the, no, and the, and the ring of Tarask. It has yes. to be. It's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes it is. So that would be pretty huge. Um, yeah, as we said, Greaves now for Wurzag as well, which is really nice. Because just the amount of heal he's provided already, like, with that extra... Yeah. You know, you can't really say, like, oh, I mean, that would have kept somebody alive, but... I mean, I mean so far, I've got to say, for the lowest net worth on the team, he is providing a hell of a lot Yeah. in these fights. Real nice. Yeah, Kunker's going Octarine Core at the moment as yep. well. As we get back into the game. The boats have been lovely. The boats have been lovely. Yeah. There's been some really good execution in this game um, from both sides as well. Um, and then also, like you said, some, some throws. 
with the with the spears and all sorts, but yeah. Looks like so. What's the Roche do? Roche still has nearly 30 seconds until it might respawn. Oh wait, yeah. So interesting to see. Um, looks like the offlane duo was having a look, but I think they've realised that everybody is in that area. And oh no! They've <laughs> committed spells on the Kunker illusion. On, onto the illusion. <laughs> that is a snap by alt down. Um, but Spherical will still be able to make moves and get this uh, top tier 2. So. And also take their Tormi as well, although Moist Goblin gets very low. <laughs> very close to perishing. They may that just back off. If they know the Roche Timer the is nearby, then they might just back off and wait by their time, although they are in the wrong lane, but they can use the old portal. Yes, he spawned bot lane. And he has a refresher shard. Save oh. save your your gold <laughs> for now. You get a free one. <laughs> although to be fair, do you put it on the Mars? Yeah. Yeah, could put it on the Mars. The arena of blood. Or maybe for friends. They look so nice. Yeah, absolutely. They so have nice. scanned out that they are roaching, so there is some, because Obst was walking down there. <laughs> so there is some awareness from Sit Out that that's what's going on. But I don't think there's going to be a chance to contest it, especially against the Troll Warlords. So you would uh, say. Just push out the lanes. Yeah, which is exactly what's what's happening. And I think if you're pushing quick on this Razor, although it might not be quick enough, you could probably try and pressure this tier 2 tower. Yeah, he needs to be careful because they could just bolt through. Yeah, does he have TP scroll? I think he must do. Yeah, he does have TP, so can get back out. He's got a refresher orb on the Razor. I missed that one when we were looking earlier. Razor refresher. Is that to refresh your static link? What's that for? Question. Uh, you can have two either storms at the same time. Oh, perfect. Stats. That's ideal. And I mean, you're not going to complain about two static links <laughs> either. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Yeah, it stacks. Oh, crazy. It's uh, It's nuts. Double alt. Are you are you proud of me for knowing something? I'm always proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I ask you the questions because I I know you you'll know the answers. <laughs> that's that's incredibly optimistic of you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it's more optimistic than me guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, less optimistic than me guessing, I guess. I went the other way. Right, so where um, are we? Let's see. Zasser was proud of his team for going Roche before high ground, but they've gone Roche, but they've not gone high ground yet. Yeah, I think that's coming. They went to go look for the Razor instead. And now, looks like if Luna retreats back, then it will be a little bit of a 5v5 brawl. Spherical 20k ahead as we they push in. And now the Mars goes straight onto Admiral Seething. Uh, and he gets one. Does get silenced as well. He does have the refresher shot. Yep, so it does pop that now. We'll have another arena. Tries to blink in, but it gets boated instead. The Doom goes out onto Luna, which is huge. And Obst is now zoning three heroes. In the meantime, Wurzank and Yoso try to do some damage to this troll. And he is losing damage. There's a second Mars out. And the second Mars out is out, but Spherical are in a bit of trouble as Mars themselves goes down. Now, Sea Moon is in a bit of a pickle here because it's huge Doom damage. Is about to expire. And that is the Aegis down. The Kunker is really low and will actually have to TP out quite simply because that Warlock Chains will have gotten <laughs> killed in the <laughs> end, especially, especially with Lulu going so deep and trying to get the kill. Uh, the Chains now wear off, so they won't have to worry too much about that. Kava Kimball heals themselves up as well. Um, yeah, not a bad Wait. fight. A high ground defense. 1.5k going the way of Sitar. Yeah, I mean, they and lose the, the racks. Oh, they true. lose the racks. Yeah. Aegis expended and Mars. Um, obviously, a refresher shard down as well. But Warlock has they enough. Got it. Warlock has enough for refresher. <laughs> I don't know if they have enough for refresher and buyback, but they have enough. Who needs buyback when you've got refresher, eh? Yeah, indeed. Especially as now, sit out, try and put some pressure on themselves. 
Mm. Uh, let me just have a They're look at your buyback you status. A lot of people have buybacks. Back. It's only Kunker and... Not gonna go crazy. Yeah, only Kunker and Abaddon who don't have the buybacks. And that is not because of the cooldowns anymore. That is just for gold purposes. So, one to bear in mind that everybody can have buyback available. As Spherical now takes this opportunity to group up, smoke up, and see what they can find. I think they know that some of sit out potentially hung around. Yeah, they it looks think, like they're going to catch. I think they want to find this Luna. They've split up. I'm not sure. Maybe they thought Luna was farming their jungle. And they do eventually obst oh, blinks goes in, in deep. and tries to get onto the... Uh, Oh, he, and he has the Refresher Orb on Obst as well. He's just running down the Razor, but he has Doom up again now because of the Refresher this is, Orb. So this is very deep. This is deep. Obst pops his refreshed BKB, and now Only this, one. this should be the next Assassin going down. Uh, and the but that's... Now, that's a lot of their spells. Yeah, Troll still hasn't used BKB and does have ult up as well. Big damage out from the Luna there as well, and Wurzak throwing it in for good measure. They will m move up to this top lane. I think... If Nyx will probably and everybody's have to buy back spells here. have been used. Yeah, to take this engagement. Oh, it manages to escape the tidal wave, and the glyph comes out. There is a, there's another doom. Yeah. Online. Yeah, Mars is in the base and is going He's to potentially perish once again, and most likely be left behind. one in the wreckage, brother. Indeed, left behind by his team, will go down again. Yeah, so. Yeah, it had another Doom online because of the Refresher Orb, but I think the Refresher was actually more for the BKB in that fight. Popped it quite early to yeah. like, blink in and chase down the Razor and yeah. negate the X mark, and then Refresh to use BKB again. So Another, mm. another, another hold of sorts from... Uh, but again, the, the buildings were prioritized in the bot lane as well, right? Because I think there was a Rax here, or was that already gone? The racks were already gone. Already gone, so they, yeah, they just lost yeah. Mars. Um, they just lost Mars. A bit, a bit of damage top lane, but, but no no bu building acquired. Yeah, I didn't really uh, buy back on them, Nyx I think. as well. Buy back on Nyx as well, I guess, is the only other thing. But it's not one of the huge yeah. ones. Yes. It's how I've learned a little bit from game one, I think. Yeah. But they are in a, a bit of a tricky spot here. Yeah. Unfortunately, game one, they were closer in farm. So it was there. Yeah. They had a bit more of an opportunity in this game. It's sort of just run away in terms of farm anyway. Doesn't mean they can't fight their way back into the game, but it's just becoming more and more difficult the more buildings they lose as well. Yeah. I mean, they've got Luna, so they've got the push. They just need to win, win one big fight, and I reckon they'll do it. But it's easy to say. Oracle getting the lanes pushed in. Set the Mars back to push that bot tower out. Keep these lands in their base. Don't let the Luma, Luna get much more farm. Yeah, rotating into this top lane as well. Obviously, the last lane of Rex they want to get. They won't have an Aegis for it. Um, but they could no, possibly wait. It's been a while out. to go. Good. Are they going to uh, disobey their cap uh, coach's orders and push high ground without it? <laughs> well, will they be smoke, forced to fight smoke outside the here. They smoke up, they do see Sleeping Moon. They get the X mark out, and now... Oh, oh don't quite bit of a myth there. Eh? Oh, this oh, is the Dagon does huge dangerous. damage on the Steam Room, but now Luna he turns around to get and... out of the Marzol. Oh, and the Nyx has died back now. That's huge. Uh, big boat comes out, but I think Wurzag is not long for this world <laughs> either, unfortunately. The ult went full duration, but once again, there is only he one hero winning that fight. 
Do you, yes, they do have buyback on Wurzag, will need to be used. Somebody just refresher orbed. It was the Warlock, so they have they have Golem Part 2, Pig in the City. <laughs> and now Yosa needs to be really, really careful, because they're going to put a lot of pressure onto this tower if we're not careful. Yeah, uh, I don't think you can stop these towers going down. Yeah, and the Doom comes Deep out. Razor. On the Razor. It's now or never for Team Sit Out. Phosphorus once again becoming the, the, the shield at the front, quite literally. Pops the old Crimson and isn't really taking much damage. Phosphorus actually launched in by his, his uh, Snapfire. And now the second rock comes out and the second Doom as Luna well. Luna BKB. Yeah, this is, this is nice damage, but not quite enough. They do shred through the Golems though with the Glaives and the, re the Refresher's being popped left, right and center. Razor uses their Refresher now. And Spherical will get out without the Warlock backup, and they've got what they came to get, which is oh, Megas. that's deep from the Razor. Yeah, he's that's doing deep. a lot of damage to the Snapfire, but it, it won't be enough, and eventually he will go down. And in the meantime, it looks like they caught out the Kunko, who will have to buy back. Wurzak is back in the Razor middle, but every lived. everybody is just ignoring him for now, like and eventually goes down, buys back themselves. Yeah, Wurzag has never done a, now done another fuel, full duration ult where everybody basically ignored him, unfortunately, and now was one v oneing the Mars. And again, I don't think there is um, much that can be done there as Obs blinks in, gets the stun out, and Wurzag will die back. And now Admiral Seating is pushed out of position, but actually quite far away from Spherical. So it's going to be difficult for them to oh, get the kill on that now. Luna, Luna gets shredded. That will have to be another buyback. And now the, the Razor's in big trouble, but they do get the counter kill onto the Doom. That's huge. Doom buys back straight away as well. And Admiral Seating managed to live, out. so didn't die back in the end. And now the Razor Link comes out onto the... Onto the troll. This is nice damage to be stealing, although he just turns oh, around. And big damage. They bring him in with the tidal wave, but Another it's not enough. And now the lift up. Mars goes down. Sleepy Moon's dead troll as well on the down. troll. But it's, they're all so low on the side of sit out. Razor will perish and die back. The rest of them need to get out as quickly as possible. It's they just need to clear these left. carties. The ancient is at half HP. I need, I need to, need to, to take a breath. Pinnick. <laughs> not much going on. This is a desperate defense from Sit out here. Yeah. They've done it for now. They did actually execute a team wipe because Obst brought back and Warlock respawned in the time, a length of time <laughs> that fight went on. Um, it costs three buybacks. It costs, it costs a lot of buybacks. And they're up against Megas now. And look what Luna's got queued up. Just have a little peek at that for me there you go i mean no buyback required don't have it so she's got one it's on its way there it is huge get it delivered there we are rapier on there's the only way. one way for them to win this game now <laughs> now if you're luna do you have it on on physical or medical i was actually going to ask you the same question i'm assuming oh, i got as, there first as they haven't <laughs> changed it i'm gonna you know um, for farming, for sure. Yeah. I don't know how it works. If you if you like toggle it, does it have a cooldown? Six second cooldown. Yeah. So you could like toggle it, cast your ult, then toggle it back after yeah. six seconds. I would Not defer sure. to the chat on how they feel it's best to use this particular um, this particular item. He does hit hard now. Certainly. Certainly do. Right. I give him right. time to have my breath back and a little sip of, sip of Pepsi now, so. Roche is up. Ready to go again. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a refresher shard. Yeah, it looks like that's the call from the Mars. That Head should down. be the next thing to do. Nyx has got another item. He's got a hex. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's nearly tier five's time. We've made it to nearly an hour in this game too. Um, Spherical, 23k advantage. Let's have a look at the graphs. Ooh. The rapier has been switched. Ah, so 96% Win probability in favor of Spherical. Gaben is favoring Spherical currently. I think that's wise. Yeah. In the current setup. No buildings. <laughs> Bar the ancient. <laughs> I, I feel 
they could just run in and BKB and hit the building. Yeah, I mean, troll alt. Troll alt. Well, I, he... don't, I, I think he gets moved on to heroes, doesn't he? Just, the, if get, he ults. just get Aegis. And then walk up yeah, yeah, yeah. BKB. Give him the Absolutely. refresher shard for a two BKBs. Oh, I, I thought they were doing Aegis. Are they waiting for it to go top so they can get Axe? Or is that not how that works? Uh, I can't remember. I think it is. Does it have uh, to spawn Ags, or does it switch over when he goes top? We'll find out in about two seconds. It switches to Ags. And he's on switches. his way top. So they obviously wanted the Ags. I guess because they've got refreshers on... I guess they could have given the are shard they, to they, Mars, but... Are they going to give it to be your favourite little... little troll that is Warlock? I guess they could, yeah. And then just send them in to the Ancient. No, you definitely could. I think it's a good move, but it, it would be funny. I mean... It, uh, troll it goes, goes to the Troll Troll. <laughs> Who's got the old backpack satanic. <laughs> Thanks to... On well, account of having the Aegis, has now got the backpack satanic. Hmm. Yeah, Warlock is yeah, buying Axe, boy. that is a good point in the chat as well. I just clicked on them and I didn't even see that, that's crazy. But now, oh, Spherical yeah. smoke up, and they will make their way into the base, and we'll see what happens. The Nyx might be the first one caught here, but it's not quite who they want to catch. But they will just take the chance anyway, Sleeve Moon initiates, and Obstacle is there. Lovely, a lovely, lovely stun. carapace stun there, onto a three, I think. Huge, and now all the spells get dropped. Lunar Ult is out, the Boat is do? out, but the, the Razor is just getting absolutely shredded, and the Lunar's... Courier is killed in that entire engagement. Lulu is now getting targeted as long as as well as Wurzag. Wurzag goes down. No buyback on the Abaddon either. After the ult expended, Lulu gets stunned against the Ancient. And I think this done game is going to be done because Admiral Seething has just been absolutely cleaned up. And Luna has been had forced back into their own base. And now they will have free reign of the Ancient with the Warlock. It's Golem just smacking and smacking and smacking. Luna walks up, gets yes, killed. That's it. No dieback. And GG was also called. And that is 2-0. Wow. Team Spherical win both games in this Group 1 International 2024 series. There we go. Taking game two as well. Yeah, so a 2-0 for Spherical, I think, puts them on four wins. Two losses, I want to say, if I recall. So, Ooh. not sure about that one. Does mean they they jump Mancaf and sit out, I think. Um, but I think Mancaf have a game in, like a match at least in hand, potentially against Spherical. I'm not sure if those two have played, or whether that was a different day. Um, it might be later this week. So yeah, they jumped them for now. They played three series, um, still behind top of the group. Stessy's Ultra Shitters, who are 4-0. And, oh. and then Granny's Cookies last on 0-6. Sit out now 3-5. and five. Um, So, yeah. Nice. Well, do you have an MVP for this game, Mark? Uh, yeah, I mean, Phosphorus really is setting up with some great Mars ults. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much every time. Just laying it down. It's great initiation. Pick the right moment. Got the right heroes. Yeah, can't fault him from that. Yeah, honourable mention to Wurzag as well. Those, oh, for uh, sure. those saves in the uh, for sure. The mid came were pretty huge. Um, but ultimately, yeah, Spherical just got too large, it seems. Just too large. Not a lot that could be done after that. Um, yeah, Ob's Doom, just terrifying. Runs away with yes. it in the farm and Sleepy Moon as well. Just <laughs> knows how to hit creeps. Knows how to hit creeps. So yeah, man. There we have it. That's the. Uh, there you go. That's the game. Two so, you now. Yeah. So some huge series coming up then. Yeah. I think Doctor Jones, as you said in the chat, I think Spherical play Minecraft tomorrow. So that is quite a large game because that, I think, probably decides who go. Decides a bit of where who goes where in the old group stage. Let me just have a look at what games we've got coming up so I can 
plug some other lads. Um, so there's a game, there might be a game going on right now. I'm not sure if it's still going, but Falcus is streaming two Hot for Dota versus Breaking Bats as we speak. And then, yeah, tomorrow is Spherical versus Mancalf and also Granny's Cookies versus Stess's. <laughs> Sorry, versus Stessie's ultra <laughs> shitters. There's so many S's in that bloody hell. <laughs> uh, so that is basically group. That's, that's a double group, double header of group one tomorrow, which is ideal. So following on from this game, you got two more group one games, and then it, if you really, really want to watch me and me and Mark play Dota, then, uh, <laughs> then Wednesday, Wednesday's your day. Because that's focus again, streak, streaming Badlands versus Tip Warblers. That is our last group stage game, and I believe if we lose that 2-0, then it's a three-way tiebreaker <laughs> in Group oh, really? Three. Yeah. So, um, oh, geez. I think that's I think that's what happens. So, yeah. So let me see if Falcus is still going. Oh, they're already done. Oh yeah. That is, some quick games. that is some quick games. They started an hour after us. Oh, yeah. Uh, well played, everybody, in the game. Um, do you have any closing thoughts, Mark, before we, we head out and wrap it up for the evening? No, I'd just like to say thank you to both the teams. That was some, some great games. Really close um, to about the midway point in both games. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I was I was surprised by the first one. Yeah, um, no, it was very close. Ran it ran it very just, very close, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. GGs to both teams. Yeah. All right. Um, well, if the other game has uh, has finished, um, has it finished? Let me just have a double check on it. How do I? <laughs> Boomer time. Let me open this up. Uh, hmm. There's no neighborhood for any. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it's still live. Oh, they're they're, they're streaming the post game, so they might be done. I don't know. Uh, um, there we can see. They have cameras on. Oh, <laughs> they have cameras on. Maybe that's what that person was asking. They wanted they wanted our cameras on for that exact reason. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, if that if that game is done, then looks like it is. So, with all that waffle out of the way, apologies, everybody. Uh, most people probably filled it out already by now. But yeah, we'll wrap it up. So, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. There's more. Goon International games coming. Like I said, two more tomorrow. And if you really want to watch us play Dota, Wednesday's your day. Um, but yeah, thank Something you very much. Something akin to Dota anyway. Yeah, yeah, we try. We try our best. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you again, Mark, for joining me. Much appreciated. Thank you for having me. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody who followed in this stream. Everybody who chatted in this stream. Much appreciated. Lots of love. And uh, we will see you next time. So take care and peace out.